By the way, we're live. Last two episodes have been so good. What did you think of the last last episode, not the one we just watched? Episode four? Episode four was probably better than this one. Yeah, I agree. Less like fan servicey, so like I, I almost enjoyed this one more. Yeah, the last one was just better. It was more like really fun. It had the much higher climax. Yeah. Revealing that the timekeepers were fake, even if it was like obvious, is like it's huge. You doubted it first. Yeah. I think even before they were revealed to be fake, you were like, oh, okay, it's yeah, probably they're not real. real. Yeah, once they like got in there, I was like, oh, that does not seem real. Yeah, yeah. whenever they just, the yeah. opening shot, I'm like, they're all yeah. floating, not moving at all, I'm like, they're fake. Is it Kang? Yes. Kang makes the most sense. Kang's hanging out of the quantum realm. But then, what's gonna happen to the Lokis? Ooh, a bug just flew in my eye. Leave me alone. Stop beating Kang. They could beat Kang. I imagine they don't beat Kang. They probably just piss him off enough that he, like, starts to, has to do, like, something else, you know? And how is Kid Loki going to get back to, like, the main timeline? It just comes with them at the end. The other ones probably die. The other ones die, like helping with helping with the plan. Even the crocodile or the alligator. And then he's like, no, I have to, I have to go back to you. He hands him back his sword and he's like, can I come? Can I come with you, please? Back to back to good timeline. Just with fucking. Uh, classic Loki, Richard Grant, they're dead now. Yeah. And Thor Loki betraying them. He, like, he doesn't have much. And he would have been Thor. Yeah, Thor Loki. Why, why, of 
Plus, he doesn't have horns. I don't get it. Yeah, he got a hand. Yeah, that's weird. Oh, it'd be very interesting, though, if Kid Loki... Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm also here! If Kid Loki... If Kid Loki ever uh, interacts with, like, Prime Universe Thor... Oh, you... Both, on both ends, like, oh, you killed me, and then also... Hey, like, you grew up. Yeah. Not a child. Yeah, that's the other one. They just... You would've just killed the child for. Thor already was a child, Loki, though, and, like, this actor, like, not the same, so... This one's a little, like... Is that actor's too old now? Yeah. He was also, like, way thinner. This... The kid Loki is, like, a little, like, pudgy. Yeah, like, yeah. Loki, Loki a little thick. Yeah. Yeah. Loki Loki's thick of his... Yeah, yeah, Loki's small. You can like see it over there in like the grass, like right there. It made like the loudest thud. It was so loud, like I couldn't believe like how how loud this fucking so, like yeah like five inch like what is essentially like a wooden ball like what? Yeah, it's basically just different like timelines and stuff, you know, it's essentially a timeline hopping vampire. Yeah, I'm just saying, yeah. <clears throat> the TVA is just there to to expedite the process of finding Spider-Man. Yeah. That'd be fucked. You're so weird. It's just not about Loki's at all. Yeah. That's just like a coincidence. <laughs> yeah, it's about Spider-Man, but Loki's <laughs> just happened to become variants at such like a high high rate that high rate we have that. to deal with. Yeah. Because, like, so this, like, isn't, like, Larry's purpose at all. They're like, we don't care about it. They're like, oh, man, one got in here? Shit. Or he's, he's like, oh, man, one got in here, and then just devours him instantly. Marlon does have, like, a family, so there could be, like, a family of them living there. That would be crazy. That would be, like, that would be so out of fucking left yeah, field. Yeah, and switched. Nobody would be expecting that. I am. Oh shit. Oh shit. How's it going, Marty? Welcome. Welcome to our, our first I don't even know, episode first, yeah. First first just chatting stream. We're gonna talk about some sick 
uh, sick episode of Loki we both just watched. Some Black Widow, probably. Lots of stuff. Not yeah. with your mic up in the air like that, though. Yeah, we literally just finished the Loki episode, like, 11 minutes ago. <laughs> like, right before we... Oh, yeah, no, it was yeah, it was in a weird ponytail there. I don't usually have it, like, in a ponytail. My hair's too, like, voluminous to be in a ponytail. Whenever I do, like, put it in, up like that and just, like, a single thing, like, it's like, explodes out. It's not the best. It's not the best aesthetic. Okay. You got, you got, what are your opening thoughts for that episode, friend? How are you feeling? I mean, obviously, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's uh, probably my second favorite episode of the series so far. Behind Interesting. Only, behind only the previous episode. I don't really know how I feel about it, because, like, I feel like it wasn't that climactic. Oh, no. it, and I felt yeah. like the writing was lacking. I yeah. felt like it was really cheesy at a lot of points but that's that's why i loved it ah uh, that's interesting comic books are cheesy yeah. and they are fan service it crossed the line and no it was it was perfect all of the like the the thanos copter all of that kind of shit that was pretty funny that's amazing that's that's the kind of shit i want the thanos copter was pretty cool and the cheese the only scene i didn't really care for was them with the blanket because like i was fine with that it was a little long yeah it was a little long and I don't like Marvel. Marvel thus far has done a pretty good job of not making uh, like love stories very important. They're either they're either relatively minor or just like don't exist at all. Right? How many Marvel movies have we watched where the the love mm. story is like integral to the plot or anything like that? Like none. The Iron Man and Pepper Potts. Yeah, that's the closest, and that's that's Tony Stark and Pepper Potts, one of yeah. the most famous like. Right, that would be like if they made fucking Peter Parker and Mary Jane like a big deal. It's like, okay, well, I don't want this much lovey-dovey stuff, but it's, it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's the couple. That makes sense. Or so like this, like even though even though I'm not I'm not like morally against it, like a lot of people are. Uh, I still like I don't I don't care. The incest, about it. you mean? Yeah, yeah, the incest. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Lots of people online are not down with it. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I oh, see man, lots. I'm super down I'm... with it. I think it, it's not only like just interesting like writing. Like I think yeah, it's an yeah. interesting like character development, especially because both of them are kind of like so narcissistic. Yeah, and, both like... of them are narcissistic, but both neither of them want to address it. Yeah, because it's fucking weird as yeah, shit. Yeah, exactly. No, not, no, nobody wants to be the person that says I want to fuck myself. But it's you. Exactly. That's why you, you really you really want to be the one who goes. All right, yes, have sex with me, me. Yeah, because you, uh, given like their situation, I imagine like they both just want to like, play like cool and slow and whatever. Yeah, but like both of them know that the other one wants to fuck. Yeah, but and the they're, only they're just like denying. The it. only way you're going to admit that you want to fuck yourself is if you're like me and you have like no pride whatsoever and it doesn't matter. I That's if funny. I if I met an attractive female version of myself, no questions asked. I sleep with her if she wants to sleep with me. I like it just happens. But I have little to no pride. Whereas if you're prideful, nobody wants to admit that. <laughs> that which I just admitted on air. That's fair. Yeah, Marty, it is really fucking weird. But like I I'm just saying, I would. If I met like you watch it, like, Marty. like a hot really female variant of myself, like I'm yeah i'm gonna yeah the, i'm at least gonna like try i'm gonna see if they want to i want to right like well how how could you how would you not yeah. they're they're attractive they're like you it's me. It be, yeah it's you yeah it's, how, well, why did you unmatch me <laughs> it's me it's, it's you me. <laughs> it's you i'm you but yeah no like it's it, but yeah i definitely i can see why people would think it's weird because it is like bordering on incest it, yeah, it's a it's very incestuous. It's incest adjacent. Incest adjacent and also masturbation adjacent. And yeah, but yeah, not but at not all because it's a yeah. it's a separate being yeah. entirely. But it's not because it's you. Very yeah. interesting. Yeah, I definitely recommend watching the show, Marty. It's, it's very good. It's mostly non incestuous. Like, yeah, yeah, tones. yeah. That's yeah. We've just focused. We focused way too much on that for like almost no reason. <laughs> Cause it's it's interesting. It's very interesting. It's just a cool yeah. It's like a it's a it's a cool thing for a Disney uh, property to do as like Loki like aside because like Loki's just like a bi curious like bisexual, multisexual like fiend. Yeah, gender fluid. Yeah, f- man, man will fuck anything. So, like, but but in a Disney property, making him first bisexual and also like whatever the fuck this is. It's pretty interesting for yeah, you. yeah. It's very interesting yeah. that a, a Disney produced fucking show, yeah. and it's not written like poorly. It, it's 
whenever like I'm watching it, I'm like, oh, cool. Like Loki's gonna bang himself. Maybe cool. Like there's some. I'm not like, what? How is this happening? Like this is so out of left field. Like there's there's like actual like character development and like you can like see it progress because they there's always like this weird like tension between them, but like they like like because it's it's you yeah like, yeah, yeah like they know each other be, yeah. so like it's 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 strange well, that that scene was the only thing i could have gone without in that in that episode all the rest of it all the other cheesy stuff amazing yeah i mean yeah <laughs> word i mean what a good episode yeah and it's like the the like some of like the writing and stuff but like plot progression like a lot happened i think I think like a decent amount. Happened. I mean, yeah, they, they they've set up for the, the yeah they set the finale, up for the finale. Right? Like, yeah, it's they but they like, found they found them. Yeah, but they they because when last time we went from uh, the, the cliffhanger was like Loki like died again went yeah. to like this planet, and now, but at, since then she's gone to the planet, gotten a little more information from Renslayer and like a temp pad to this planet, they met a bunch of other loki variants like a bunch like a fucking <coughs> a tiny gang of Lo- befriended like, some yeah befriended a tiny gang of loki variants disney disney plus marty yeah it's a disney plus property and the ever since oh. the disney marvel deal but it's a uh, disney plus in portugal right now i don't know let's find out uh but yeah uh went got, found a bunch of like befriended like a family of loki variants and then got fucking got by a b- large gang of loki variants but only kind of. Only kind of, yeah. Because they just pissed off. They kind of just started, like, a bar fight sick. between Loki yeah. and Bar. Yeah, it was just pretty dope. Yeah, it's cool, like, world building on, like, this planet. Oh, it's expensive. How much is it, do you know? Oh, really? That's that's surprising. Because it's not that bad, like, here. I think it's, like, eight bucks a month or something. Like, it's yeah. cheaper than all the other streaming services. And, like... Granted, yeah, there's not like a well, no, now with Star, like there even is a lot of content. Yeah, there's a decent amount now. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that was gonna be my other like dumb just theory. Chill. Modok lives in the castle at the other time. <laughs> <laughs> it's Patton Oswalt. Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> I'd be so stoked. No one else would be. Almost oh, no. everyone else in the world be, would be, I'd be pissed. Oh, they'd be so triggered after the fucking no. Uh, what was the black uh, the the. WandaVision one? Mephisto? Yeah, after no Mephisto. Yeah, we don't get Kang. No Kang. It's fucking MODOK. We get Nine. Agatha and MODOK and not, not Mephisto and Kang. Mm-hmm. Nine what's, euros a what's month? What's that? That's probably like, what, like $14? $14? That's my guess. Thirteen twenty six. Thirteen twenty six Canadian. How much is Disney Plus? I would I would still play pay that. But I, I would pay a lot for Disney Plus. Disney Plus is pretty, yeah, it's definitely worth it. But I'm, I'm also like a huge Marvel fan. If okay, I, yeah. So it's currently nine dollars Canadian as well. So like, yeah, definitely a better deal here. Oh, yeah. It will, it will become twelve dollars Canadian February. Okay, no, it's twelve dollars now. Okay, so you, yeah, okay, so yeah, I went up to twelve dollars like this year. A little bit more than us. So yeah, Marty would be a little it. more expensive. Okay. Interesting. Netflix used to be five pounds a month. Wow. Netflix, oh my, man, my Netflix is fucked. How much is your Netflix? Because oh, you have, like, have the family one, 4K? Yeah, yeah. That, wasn't, whenever, I think I, whenever, I, uh, whenever I had that, it was like 13 or, or 12 or 13 99 Yeah, I month. think it's like 15 I, Yeah, I think now. it's like 15 99 or something now. Yeah, so like fucking like, like 12 pounds. Mm, that's a lot. HBO for free? That's, that's pretty sick. sick. Yeah. That's really HBO good. HBO is huge. With huge. HBO Go is like their streaming service, yeah. I think, or HBO Now or something. Oh, what is in my eye? What's going on here? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think eighteen ninety nine a month is what we spend on Netflix. My mom spends. Mm. And then yeah, I paid for Disney Plus. Worth it. Worth it. Okay. okay. What are your, what are your, some of your? You your think? You think? I'll, I'll toss you an easy one here. Oh, an easy one. You think by the end of the of the season, how if they do? First of all, I'll just ask that. Do you think Mobius on a jet ski? Yes. We see. Yeah, it. I. Okay. The amount of fan service we've gotten in this show. Yeah. We got the Thanos copter. It's true. There's no way they don't give us Mobius on a jet ski. Like, okay, they, how does it happen? You think? 
he just fucks off to his own timeline at the end or what? Yeah, my best guess is it's just a post credit scene where we get like we get like a well, few second shot. Scene. Yeah. It's maybe like, maybe oh. we get Loki and Sylvie like chilling on a beach or something and then it pans out to the water and Mobius is on oh, a jet ski. Yo, that would be sick. If we get like a fucking survivor like like pan in like across the horizon line and then it's just like Mobius on a jet ski. Yeah. I could see that. Yeah, that'd be, that'd that's be... that's. I imagine something like that, where it's just a quick little kind of like gag. Here you go, fans. We know you want to see this. Okay, where do you think? Where do you think that happens timeline wise? That's kind of how it depends on how the show ends. Yeah, I don't see how. I don't know where the show's. Because ending. I. I don't know what a season two I is going to look like. I sort of have a prediction for how the show will end. Okay, let's see. And it's it. Sylvie and Loki. Whatever they if. They they go in and it's it's Kang right sure. I've watched all the major shows. I'm only watching oh Rick and Marty. Where Rick and Marty's good. Rick. I've only Rick. watched the first Rick. like three Rick. seasons. Um, but yeah, they go in right, and it's it's just Kang. Kang is is just vibrant in his castle, letting his TVA do the do right. They they're they're setting up his his perfect timeline his for his victory. In this space somewhere. Yeah, I think I think this might just be nothing. This is just nothing. It just teases the location. Yeah, you think. yeah. That's yeah. I think this is just going to be some like nothing shot if it's even in the show, where it's literally just like some rock around. Because okay. yeah, it doesn't look anything like the castle we saw in the actual yeah. episode. But the backing so, is I still think, the same. That like yeah, galaxy backing, with that fucking horizon line. Yeah, all that thing. stuff. Just with, like, so yeah, I think this Hogwarts was just a tease, and but is actually going to ultimately not be like an important shot. Okay. Same with like the the blade, right? Mm-hmm. They're right in the, in the trailer. It looks like it's going to be the sick thing, and then it's just a mostly useless blade that turns on fire. Hey, and it was hey. cool for a second, but then yeah, he's <laughs> fighting ignored. a giant like yeah. smoke dragon. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Okay. So how do you but think yeah. it's going to? So end? Yeah. yeah, they they go in and they basically just lose. Loki and Sylvie like get punked. Like they they don't achieve like any of their goal at all. But Mobius does. So the TVA gets defeated just through like Mobius telling everyone what's up. And they and that's how like they they win. Okay, yeah, I was gonna, I was, I was hoping we were gonna talk about Mobius, like, go yeah, back to the TVA. Right, I don't see why you send him back alone unless it's just gonna be simply like, yeah, he causes like an uprising. Well, they locked up what's her name, B B fifty two. Yeah, yeah. B fifty two. Seemingly just because like they, they don't, don't want people to know. They don't want people to know. Yeah, because yeah, obviously, obviously, you find out that you're a fucking variant, and uh, I don't know if. Does she know? Does Renslayer know that B fifty two knows that she's a variant, or does she? Because I think she only knows that she knows that like the the timekeepers are fake because she was yeah. just in, she was just present. She in the probably room. doesn't know for sure, she but she probably it. assumes. Yeah, 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 yeah she doesn't yeah. know for sure. If if a agent is suddenly completely like rebelling, it's probably because they know, right? Like they just know. This makes sense. Right, because she rebelled before she knew the timekeepers were fake, right? Like. She she threw them the sword. Oh, this is true. That's yeah, fair. You're right. So, right. So Renslayer has to know. She knows like something. She knows. Yeah, she's got to know something's up. But yeah, that's because yeah, I right the it's if if it's Kang, which it really <clears throat> seems like it's gonna be Kang. It's not it's not like Mephisto where where it was like oh like it could be Mephisto. It like this just like genuinely seems like it's going to be Kang. Yeah. There I'm can't making be... like a Mephisto level reach saying it's uh, it's Morlin. Yeah. 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 I think mean, that's even more than that's you think it's more. more? I think it's I think it's closer. No, because at least Mephisto like Mephisto has dealt with right. Like it made some sense. This makes some sense. I pitched it decently well. Yeah, but like Agatha has worked for Mephisto in the past. Mephisto was like heavily associated with like uh, Wanda and like Orleans the comics. Orlando's heavily associated with like the multiverse time and, and the stuff. multiverse. Yeah. This is true, and uh, Spider Verse things are happening very mm-hmm. shortly. Mm-hmm. Morlin could also definitely work. There, d- d- I d- I can't find a hole. Castles. Yeah, I can't yeah. find and. They they, they name drop vampires and he's mm-hmm. essentially just like a interdimensional. I'm doubling like, down. It's it's we're getting a multiverse be, or a spider verse set up. That'd be fucking sick. That'd be really cool. That'd be so so out of the left field. Oh yeah, no. If they walk in and there's a fucking like demonic vampire like just like a family person, of them. yeah, or like a family of them, yeah, just like fucking hanging upside down or something, yeah. They just show up. It cuts to black and we're just like, wait, was that fucking? That wasn't Kang. Yeah. But yeah, if it if it is Kang, which it seems almost, seems yeah, like it's gonna be almost written in stone. There's only so much they can do because they've explicitly said you don't have to watch the shows to watch the movies. 
and we already know Kang, Kang is confirmed to be an Ant-Man 3. Mm-hmm. Very likely to end up becoming an, an Avengers villain after Ant-Man 3. Yeah. Oh, yo. There's... Um, they just confirmed spy- or, or vampires in the MCU, like, with this show. Yeah. yeah. A character well, that just says that vampires exist. They confirmed, like, like meta, like, outside yeah. the universe that yeah, vampires existed because Blade. I don't know if you've... Uh, if you watched the old Blade movies mm-hmm. with uh, Wesley Snipes. Blade was confirmed. But yeah, Blade, they're doing a reboot of Blade. So that confirms that vampires, vampires exist. exist. But then, yeah, in-universe, in this show, uh, they talked about getting like vampire variants and having to So they exist. Them. Mobius has interacted so, yeah. with them. Yeah, people have interacted with vampires. And we're going to get to watch a vampire. It's very unlikely that the big bad of this is in any way related to a vampire. But... I don't... Vampires, yeah, are generally villains, but I don't think they're inherently Also, is, is Moreland, evil. like, technically a vampire, or is no. he just, like, vampire-like? He's just vampire-like. He just, yeah. like, feeds on, like, the yeah. souls or energy yeah. of, like, Spider-Man. yeah, Spider-Man. Yeah, okay. I didn't think he was, like, mm-hmm. physiologically, yeah. like, technically a vampire. But yeah, there's... And that's that's the other weird part. There's another Spider-Man villain who's supposed to get his own movie, uh, Mobius. No, Morbius. Morbius. Morbius, Morbius yeah. Oh, Morbius movie. Mor- yeah. Um, and he's also a vampire, but not a vampire. Because in Marvel, there's actual vampires. Like, classic, can't go out in the sun, uh, stake through the heart, etc. Like, just, just your garlic. typical, yeah, garlic. Mm-hmm. Um, those exist. Those are just real. Bite you, you turn it right, suck your blood. But then there's Morbius, who using a vampire bat. Morbius is a Spider-Man villain, isn't yeah, he? He has, like, yeah. blue hair and shit. Yeah, yeah. And he... Like, pale white skin. Yeah, yeah. yeah, pale white skin. He, like, fuses himself with villain with uh with a fucking um a vampire bat to like try and cure i think he has like cancer or something and it turns him into a vampire but not like the rest of the vampires he like has like like he feeds from like his hands and stuff yeah he's like little like he has like mouth like a little mouth and he like yeah and yeah he's he's and but he's like just made from science like he created himself mm-hmm. as like he turned himself into a vampire I but then that vampires that. also exist yeah and then there's Mortland, the yeah the vampire yeah. yeah who goes around feeding off spider-man <laughs> that's my that's my deep cut theory as to who's in the who's in the floating space castle that'd at the be, end of the last episode be really of cool. loki but it wouldn't make any fucking sense, but, like, I'm here for it. Definitely wouldn't. It's almost certainly, like, cut in stone uh, Kang. A castle at the end of time, like, it's fucking Kang. It's what Kang is, and a half, yeah. Yeah, they can't do this and have it not be Kang. <laughs> the, the time-traveling villain. This is, this is true. It just seems so likely. So you think the, like, the end of this season like opens up like an actual multiverse or like rips apart like the timelines from being timelines and we get like a fully fleshed yeah, out yeah, like multiverse branches and multiverses and all that yeah that happens from because as from a result of the events of this show yeah okay yeah the the TVA will revolt or whatever and just start focusing on I don't know, living their lives or whatever the fuck they want to do. Yeah, I wonder what happens to all the TVA agents. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what are they going to do? once? Because like, they all got plucked out of their timelines and everything was like vaporized, essentially. Yeah. I guess we'll like, just where are they going to go? I guess they could just go back to Earth. Like. Yeah, I, yeah, I imagine they'll just all go to the main timeline and then we'll see as they like walk out like a shitload of uh branches like that would start. be very very cool mm-hmm. like a, i like a final I shot like yeah that. i really want the final the shot Mobius, of this like to just be the line and just have yeah all the lines like fucking oh, yeah. like go like crazy and then yeah the postcard scene be mobius like <clears throat> His, yeah that'd be cool but yeah just like the final like actual shot just zooming in on like a screen at the the all deserted the timeline, tva yeah. with all the timelines like branching as people are like doing their things That'd be so fucking cool. Yeah, it would be fucking sick. I think, uh, I don't know if you'll remember this, but in the in in the room with the with like the timekeepers, the like the animatronic people yeah. that get that get got, there's there's like a fucking like light or like symbol or something like behind them, like on the wall. I don't I don't know. It's like not in any of the trailers because obviously like they're not like there. But if you can get like a an image of of the timekeepers, there's a there's a symbol hanging out behind them. 
This like the the red one? Yeah, that. <clears throat> yeah. Do you think do you think this could be a magical rune, one of several magical runes that prevents people from using magic in the TVA, a la Wanda and Vision. Yeah. Or is that's this just wild? Is this just a random thing? That's possible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's 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 thinking. That's right. So I never even I never even thought about that. That's right. I got some I got some big questions. <laughs> I dug deep. Yeah. But if that's the case, if that's even a possibility, is Kang magic? Because, yeah, that's what I was going to say. I don't think Kang is Yeah, magic. I also didn't think that. But another thing, uh, have they established if you can use magic or not? Like in in the, whatchamacallit, small space? <laughs> the quantum realm? Yeah, in the quantum realm. No. They haven't established that no. yet? If you can or can't? Okay. No, but nobody, nobody yeah. that we've seen in there has had magic. The only two people we've seen go in there are... Okay. Uh, uh, Ant Man and the first wasp, so Janet and Van Dyne. And uh, yeah, yeah, okay. The yeah. first, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Those are the only two people that have gone in and come out. I see. And Janet, like, t- barely. But also, if it's in the quantum, she aged. Who? Janet. Yeah. In the quantum. Oh yeah, in theory, you can't age. Yeah, because you're right. But if, if that's oh, where the TVA is, like, okay. yeah. Hmm, maybe they're just in like a weird part of the quantum realm, but like... And no, time does pass here. Yeah. Time just passes differently. Yeah. Interesting. Right, they have have that clock with the extra ticks. Oh yeah, they did. They do have the clock with Mm -hmm. the extra ticks. So yeah, if that's that's a rune, who do you think could have made it? He could just have like a Loki working with him or so, right? Oh, like that would be fucking wild. I've seen I've seen plenty of theories that the that the villain's ultimately going to be Loki. But what if it's just both? It, yeah, it's just Kang. It's just and a Kang like a and Loki. Loki. Like yeah, we're, like yeah. That makes sense. There's so many Loki variants like running around through time. Like yeah. I'm sure one could help you. And yeah, I'm sure I'm sure there could be a Loki variant that just knows magic. Like like well like this obviously yeah. obviously all the Loki variants like know some sort of magic but yeah, yeah you like told me actual rune who's who's old Loki magic? what's his name uh, Richard Grant yeah if you told me Richard Grant could cast runes I, I yeah. okay after seeing him like make a whole Asgard like for sure for sure it's, it's, it looks possible. I honestly didn't even go back and and look at an image of it like afterwards. After I had formed this theory, I never went back and looked at it. So like actually seeing like a rune next to uh yeah, it definitely does look a lot like it looks like similar. Norse runes, like the magic runes. It doesn't look exactly like anyone that I can find, but it does look yeah. like very similar to a lot of them. That's interesting. I could see that. That's interesting. I didn't. I thought this. Yeah, I didn't put like a lot of stock in that. Uh, in that theory. But now, yeah, now I've almost. Yeah, sold it myself. could easily also just be nothing. Yeah, it could just, just be, be like lights or yeah, stylistic or whatever. Yeah, he wanted it to be, yeah, be aesthetically intimidating and cool because. Otherwise, it yeah, looks super fake. Yeah, more bright lights behind. Anyway. Yeah, to draw attention away from them. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, that's that's kind of the issue with when they release the show week to week, because we just have so much time to think about crackpot theories that like so many. You you should have seen the fucking the Wanda Vision, uh, theories. I remember watching watching the episode and they they show a fly on a on a like curtain and they zoom in on the fly and I lost it. <laughs> I started freaking out. And I'm like, Tyler, Tyler, like that's it. Mephisto confirmed. <laughs> that's just it. Mephisto, Mephisto is that bug. Yeah. Cause the He's first the fly on the curtain, the, the, the first time he, he ever appeared in, in comics, he was a fly. <laughs> he, the, his first appearance was as a fly. So it's like, 
It did. It did feel like and it bait. Felt, yeah, I think it was bait. I think it was just intentionally a red herring. That's fucked up. That's a huge red herring. Doing through. What, what are you up to right now, Marty? Yeah, That's what are a you lot. Doing? Three different things. One of them school. Doc Octopus over here. Yeah. It's gonna be studying for your last exam, right? That's coming up next week, isn't it? The seventeenth or something. Yeah. Twenty seven something. Yeah. Something like that. Should be coming up soon. Soon. I think that. I think that might be all I have written for Loki. You got any? You got any crazy theories? Any crazy uh, observations? <coughs> Any statements? Well, I well, the one that I said you wanted after. Denmark us and studying. Okay, weird. Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah, England versus Denmark's on. I forgot about that. Zero zero. Um. Say? Yeah, just like like I was saying, I. Fuck. What was I gonna say now? Any observations? Theories? I think every I think every shot from all these trailers is going to be in the movie or in the show. Yeah. Every single one of them. Oh yeah. But we've seen almost all of them by now, I think. Yeah, there's only a couple that yeah. we haven't, and one of them is yeah, just that seen, rock floating. Yeah, in space. which I think is going to be fucking nothing. I think it's just going to be. It's just going to pan past bait. that as it goes. Yeah, to the literally. Castle. Yeah, they're yeah. going to like be walking, and we'll get a shot of that, and then them walking. Or the castle's on like the other side and like small or something. Yeah, I. Can I maybe it has to be Kang? It's the only thing. Like, okay. So how's next episode gonna go? You think they they're there? They're walking in right now, aren't they? Yeah, they're yeah. They walk through the thing. That's yeah, how like they're the episode walking ends. in, and like they're just there. They're just in this weird ethereal space, yeah, this, looking at a yeah, floating this, castle. This space at the end of time. Yeah. And no, there there isn't gonna be a Loki movie, but there is gonna be second season of the show apparently. So yeah, that's I don't know fucking sick. how caught up you are on the events of the MCU, but this is not the same Loki that exists in yeah. the movies. Yeah, major spoilers for Endgame. Yeah. But, like, yeah, main main Loki is dead. Main Loki dies. He gets killed by Thanos. And then <clears throat> the Avengers go back in time to, like, stop him. That's that's the plot of the movie. Yeah. And then while they're, while they're in previous, like, New York getting, like, the Tesseract or some shit, like... They, like, fuck up and, like, drop the Tesseract, and then this Loki picks it up and is, like, neat, and zoops away. <laughs> he just vanishes with it. He takes yeah, it, just fucks it off. off. Yeah. And then this this series, like, picks up immediately after the, where where that Loki goes with the, with the cube. It just picks up immediately. He pops out into space. Boom. Show starts. Do you know, do you know what the last mm-hmm. Marvel movie you watched was? Because if it's been years, well, to the last two years, you would have missed nothing. Yeah, nothing, nothing's come out except for this. Mm-hmm. But and, the and a couple shows, the couple of years before that, a shitload of stuff. And a couple of years from this moment, tons. What? July, however, and <laughs> Thanos has some fancy gloves, bunch of people, and then Iron Man reverse cards. Yeah, reverse Uno's him. This is true. Okay, yeah, that's that's the end of the second most recent movie. Mm-hmm. The only movie since then was the second Spider-Man. Spoder. And then there's been, yeah, three TV shows since then. Whoa. What up? Doctor, uh, my family doctor is going to message me, apparently. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I have to go in for, for a checkup. Yuck. Right? You're going to get fondled by some old man. Disgusting. But yeah, as of... As of July, as of tomorrow, as of as of today, in the next 365 days, 366 days, one day plus one year, or, yeah, that works, um, <laughs> <laughs> there will be seven Marvel movies coming out. If you don't watch a Marvel movie for the next one day, or one year and one day, you miss seven movies. <laughs> That's actually obscene. Literally unprecedented. Yeah. More than one every two months. I'm stoked. On average. Let's, yeah. Let's get it. There's still four to come out this year, and we're over halfway through the year. It's been over six months of 2021, and there's still four Marvel movies to come out. 
We got this. We got Black Widow coming out in two days. It's already out in Ireland. Irish people actually? Irish people eating right now. Oh, they can see it? Yeah. Fuck. Potatoes and Black Widow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Uh, but yeah, yeah, Black Widow, right, uh, Friday. Then we've got Shang-Chi. They have the September. content because there's just like infinite comic storylines yeah. there's thousands yeah. yeah they maybe even tens of and, thousands and, and you can just like make stuff up like this loki stuff is like new yeah, yeah this loki story is like Completely like new. almost yeah, entirely new yeah, yeah all this stuff is like new it's very good but yeah so because you can just pull from like thousands of different comics and add your own ideas yeah. so th- th- theoretically marvel could make content for like forever decades yeah decades and decades of movies and not and yeah not even not even have to like self-produce it like yeah have to write their own shit just just spider-man alone i yeah 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 it's uh, the trailer yeah Yeah. she it's the trailer that's on currently yeah though spoilers for for the movie probably uh by the end of the movie like they'll be setting up for someone else to be black widow Mm mm-hmm Someone else will take the run. Because, again, right, she dies in Endgame, so... Yelena. Yelena. Uh, there's definitely, sister. like, some storylines that can get repetitive, especially, like, when it comes to, like, origin stories and just general, like, first character... Like, characters' first movies. Uh, they're very, like, cookie-cutter, like... D- they do, like, X. They do Y. There's a, there's a complete, like, carbon copy of them as a villain that's just a different color. And then, like, and then, boom, they overcome X yeah. obstacle. And, yeah, that's basically every, like, origin, like, movie or every, like, character's first movie. But they do... There is, like, a lot of... Uh, there's just, like, a lot of, like, creative, like, differences, like, with characters. So that opens, like, a, up a lot... Up, mm-hmm. Opens up for a lot of, like, unique things. And the, the nice thing, right? If if uh, if there's a good writer, right? Mm-hmm. It's it's really it's easy huge. to make a good story. And with the comics, there's been so many good and bad writers that there's so many good storylines that it will take like a long time before we start getting the yeah, stories that are just bad them, or yeah. boring, right? There's, and then when we get to those, we can just hopefully yeah, start have, yeah. start writing better ones or more ones mm-hmm. or have like a backlog that we haven't used yet or yeah. And there's still there's there's so many that won't even ever get used. There's Spider-Man storylines that are just unbelievably incredible, but there's no way they'll do it. Give me Man Spider <laughs> no, no, in not the Man MCU. Spider. Oh, okay, there's a there's a sick Spider-Man storyline where Spider-Man's like spider mutation starts going starts going haywire, it's getting a little too mutated up in here, and he fucking evolves like. To, to the point where I think he's just like a human being, regular human Peter Parker, but then grows like two two extra sets of arms. Yeah. So, so he has arms. so he has six arms and two, and two legs, legs. So he has eight eight limbs like a spider. But they're just human arms coming out from underneath his like other arms, and it looks awful. It looks terrible. But then he evolves again, and he turns into like a full man spider. Like he he gets all hairy. His head becomes like a spider head. He's got the fucking like. The yeah, fang the thingies, and then like he's got like eight eyes, big spider head, screeches. I think he shoots like webs out of his mouth, or something. He yeah. does something fucked with the webs, but I forget. I forget what it is. Or he can shoot webs out of his mouth, and then it's just like a big ripped like spider suit. It looks fucking sick. It's, it's and he gets hunted weird. by the Punisher because the Punisher is like, there's a fucking spider monster like killing everyone and like shit. And then Doc Connors is like, no, he's. He's Spider-Man. We can save him, and then eventually you get like injected with some shit, and you're like safe. But yeah, Punisher they, almost kills you. It's pretty cool. They do it in the fucking the '90s animated TV show. Yeah, and it's amazing. It's, it's like it's like TV fucking show. like nine or ten episode long. It's no, way I think too long. It's only arc. like four. It's really it's long. Really long. It's isn't really it? long. That's I think that's the first arc where that show starts just being like ah, all the arcs will now just be like eight plus episodes. It's shit. like well, I don't want to watch a nine episode uh, arc. I'll watch a nine episode arc of Man Spider. Man Spider's so sick. Oh yeah, yeah. People have a lot of free time, <laughs> like us. <laughs> oh yeah, no. Especially when it comes to like comic writing, like the, you never run out of shit. Like you would think they run out of shit, and then you get shit like Man Spider. Yeah, and Man uh, yeah, Spider is like, m- m- I, in my opinion, one of the more creative, like, like good of the bad ideas. <laughs> it's on the better end oh, of, of shitty comic and of writing. The Spider Man, Spider Man has a, a clone saga, where he just got like a shitload of clones made of him, and it's also terrible but like it's super like cool because then now there's just like a shitload of spider-man like fighting each other <laughs> spider-man yeah and one of them was super cool fucking uh uh kane 
What's his name? Yeah. He uh, he eventually becomes Scarlet Spider. But initially, he was just, like, horribly, like, defig- disfigured and, like... Scarlet Spider's in Into the Spider-Verse, right? Or no? Which one is Scarlet Spider? Scarlet Spider... Or, is that the punk rocker one? There's a couple, there's a couple different, no. Which one's that? Uh, I think that's just. I think it's literally just Punk Spider Man. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sure. Uh, most most of the Spider Man and the other Spider Verse don't have like very fleshed out like stories because yeah. they're like one offs mm-hmm. or written for like that. Uh, but no, there were there were two Scarlet Spiders. Both of them were clones of Spider Man. The first one was Ben Riley, and then yeah, the second one is Kane Parker. I think is what what he goes by. Okay. Um, but he was originally a villain, and was just like infinitely strong because the 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 cloning didn't work properly so and it just made stronger. him way stronger oh, it didn't make it didn't make like it any didn't sense work <laughs> properly <laughs> but to be fair the, the the drawbacks were that he was like horribly unattractive and like i think was dying at like a super fast rate like i think yeah i think like he only had like a little while to live but that's, he was like crazy strong that's amazing there's one scene where he's fighting like spider-man and the rhino and like some other people just throws them into each and, other yeah, he, he literally just like throws spider-man aside Grabs the support from the building, just like rips it apart <laughs> and hits the rhino with it, just and a just fucking girder from a building, <laughs> just a like standing one, building. But like like a fucking like a like a column, like a like oh, a marble like oh. column, like he just rips it off, smacks rhino, destroys rhino, one shots him, like it's it's stupid. That's so fucking funny. I want them to do that. Skip Spider Verse. Just make have it have it still be Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire, but just have them be clones that were kind of fucked up. Oh, you mean Spider Verse in the MCU? Yeah, not, yeah. Not Spider Verse Two, the yeah, animated no, film Spider-Verse that Sony 2. will make. Whoa, who scored? Oh yeah, who fucking Denmark scored? Word, Denmark, mm-hmm. amazing. That's huge. You cheering for Denmark? I assume with all the with all the all the capitalization. I want Denmark to win. I think they're they're the underdogs. Man, I I'm stoked for Black Widow. I'm also stoked for Black Widow. I know it's probably going to be cookie cutter MCU. I'm sto- yeah, I'm stoked okay, just because it's, it's going to so. be a Marvel movie. I'm, yeah. yeah, because it's a Black Widow film. Like it's, I'm it's pretty indifferent. Been, it's probably going to be did, pretty lame. If we're being honest. Spider-Man Far From Home came out fucking June 26th, 2019. I feel like the most... Damn. I feel like yeah, the most... Damn. Uh, redeeming quality of this film is going to be like it's like choreography, like it's fight choreography, and Taskmaster can be incredible. Yeah, that's even even with barring no skull, no proper hood, like whatever. Yeah, that even could though be he fine. looks like fucking dog shit. Yeah, he could still be incredible. But from what I've gathered from uh, from like what you've said about reviews and like the couple of reviews that I've read, like he's he's not like he's not stealing the show. And yeah, that's, that's what I would want from this kind of movie. Sorry, Black Widow, I, you're not interesting enough to carry this film for me. That's uh, yeah, I've said this for like. <laughs> there are just some Marvel characters. This might be controversial to say. Hulk, Black Widow, Hawkeye. Hawkeye they can't carry movies. They yeah. like it's just not. They're not. It can't like happen. A TV show, like maybe. I don't think it's a. Hawkeye can definitely do a limited series. Like that they're going to do, <laughs> yeah. right? Get best, but only because he has like the Kate Bishops like that. I was like gonna say, he, I don't think it's a coincidence that this isn't like a solo film that she has like a huge like backing cast like with her. Yeah, that there's the family, um, yeah. and like and like great aunt, actors too, right? Like David Harbour and uh, exactly, Florence, what I'm saying, whatever yeah. her, her last name is, there are like great actors. What's so, uh, yeah, David Harbour, Red Guardian? Yeah, yeah. Do you think they're gonna go with his his comic? Uh, not origin, but comic like past as a husband of Black Widow. No. <laughs> Former love interest. No. Nothing. No. How's, how's the how's that relationship gonna work then? I imagine like a father figure. Yeah. Okay. Probably not act like obviously not actually her father, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I imagine like, like yeah, uh, okay. yeah. He's he's a parental figure in her life, more or less. And not like a not love a former interest love interest. Or, no. Yeah, okay. I'd be pretty surprised. I think th- maybe maybe they're maybe they're closer in age than they look, but there seems to be a pretty significant age gap. And when when would she have had this like right like relationship? When they knew each other in Russia, she wouldn't have been allowed to have relationships. This is true. 
right? So like, oh fucking Taskmaster looks like shit. There's a lot of like really epic shots of him though in this trailer. Like that one where he's walking through is pretty cool. That one where he's standing alone, like watching, watching. like tapes and shit. That one's pretty the, cool. He, watching the Iron Man two scene, I'm pretty sure. Oh, is he? I think uh, yeah, I think that's the hallway scene from Iron Man two. That's her first really like cool. fight scene. Yeah. And then there's a. There's another one where he's like standing in a helicopter that looks really cool. I'll try and freeze frame it when that. Yeah, it's like coming up right here. Like this looks fucking sick. Yeah, like, this like, is menacing. Taskmaster shit. is such a cool yeah, villain. Just it's standing just... there as the helicopter like quickly like swoops down and around like that. Like you look so fucking and like so edgy here. I just want him. Mm. I want him to have amazing. like the actual skull. The shield looks sick. I really like how the shield looks. The shield does look cool. But like, yeah, I want, I want a skull. Not this fucking, not this fucking shit. Uh, That's also really sick, where he, like, does the kicking, like, backflip against the uh, Red Guardian. Let me try and back that up again. It's before this. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. About this scene, actually. I also, wait, Black Panther. I was going to bring this yeah, up. Yeah, that's just Black Panther's fighting style. I was going to bring that up after <laughs> I watched this trailer, and if we if we go back to the fucking... Oh, shit. The beginning shit over I here. That. Uh, I don't even know where it is. Maybe it's not at the beginning shit. Wherever, wherever the Marvel logo is, in this, uh, in this role, role, this run. But I don't even know. <laughs> oh, that's it's like right here. <coughs> in a couple seconds. I don't know if I'll be able to freeze frame it like first try here, but I'll try it. Oh, right there. I don't know if you saw that. Oh yeah, that. Oh yeah, I remember you. You snapped me about that. I did snap you about this. Right there. You can kind of make it out there. And I didn't even... Black Panther is the guy who died. Yes. Rip uh, Rip Chadwick Boseman. Yeah. Very sad. R.I.P. This was such a shock, Incredible too. Black Panther. Yeah. Such a good actor. Yeah. Good. Very, well. very cool portrayal of, of that character. But yeah. I didn't even, like... Uh, consider that he could just like watch tapes of like iron man fighting and like learn the like the fight style i was going to bring up if if ta if this taskmaster had previously fought a black panther that would be cool because yeah he just that's just black panther's exact fucking yeah shit. yeah like yeah, yeah that's the kind of forever yeah. like yeah i saw that and then like the really fluid like flip i'm like this is black panther that's not like like yeah, like, yeah I, I didn't clue in until like that viewing i was like wait a second <laughs> no they, yeah, that's just that's just the that's the thing mm -hmm. there we go that's a much better shot of it there yeah but yeah he's he, that's 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 the hope for this like movie is that Taskmaster's fights are sick mm -hmm. because he can just fight like anyone, anyone, anyone. Yeah, you, that's why. Yeah, you want he, you want him to do something. You want him to be able to do a move that's been done in the MCU. He can do it. You just have to write that he saw it. Exactly. I'm yeah. I'm super super curious to see like even if the fight choreography like isn't incredible if almost every fight is something like that where i'm like holy shit that's a captain america move or holy shit like iron man moves like that or like something because that's yeah that's also the captain america shield throw yeah right like, like i think i'm i think i'm pretty satisfied watching this movie even if it's not like amazing if if the fight choreography is like pretty decent and then also every fight is like holy shit like that's so and so or blah 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 like i think it'll be a a pretty pretty cool viewing experience he was even as just like a cool yeah. like homage to yeah, i would i would like take the first few phases yeah i would take like a MCU. slight like decrease in like technical choreography if it means like lots of cool references yeah that's, right? like, yeah, that's like, yeah, essentially what yeah, i'm saying yeah 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 even if it's not as like all like perfect as like winter soldier mm -hmm. say but it's still like good, and we have lots of like fan yeah. servicey like, oh hey look, like that. he just did a Winter Soldier movie, or he right like the, the if he does like the knife drop, the Winter Soldier like. There's a sick fucking uh, car chase with a motorcycle. If if we get to see him fucking do like the Bucky bow? like motorcycle uh, like Hawkeye. Thing. Uses yeah, a bow, yeah. Right, like. Yeah, he uses a bow there. He flips. Yeah, lots of stuff. That's what I'm saying. If it's like that for the entire movie, like I'm probably like, oh okay, this is cool. Even if like. Every fight isn't like ba 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 I'm, kung fu action yeah. movie like perfect choreography like incredible fighting like. I'm I'm also really curious to see what uh, Elena uh not Elena uh, Yelena no Yelena uh, uh girl from Seinfeld. Oh Elaine Bennis. Elaine Bennis yeah, yeah 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 I'm really curious to see what her role is uh, gonna be in this film. What's her name La uh Lady Hydra what's her name? Oh uh, fuck. 
Vanessa? But don't call me Vanessa. Something like it's that. It's something yeah. super, super long. But like, what's the actual like villain's name? Is it Lady Hydra? Oh uh, yeah, Madame Ma- Ma- Madame Hydra. Madame Hydra yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Madame Hydra. Oh. Yeah, I think she's like she's like Veronica or Vanessa or something. What's the actual fucking actor? Oh yeah, Julia Louis Dreyfus. I can't believe I forgot her name. But yeah, she she was because she was supposed to be in this movie like first. This mm-hmm. movie was supposed to have come out like a fucking year ago, and more than a year of, ago. There's shots of Ross in the trailer. Yeah, I wonder I wonder if we'll get like another trailer. Oh no, it's coming out in like days. I was gonna say I wonder if we'll get like a like a trailer where like because now that we know that she's like in like already like an established character, like if she'll be in a trailer, but no, it's too late. It's yeah, the movie's coming out. Yeah. But she's also gonna have to be in like oh, more yeah, future that is, movies. That, yeah, that's her fight during Iron Man too. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. yeah. Uh, he's watching there. That's really interesting. Yeah, I'm really curious to see because if she's in this movie, it has to be more setting up for Dark Avengers, right? Obviously, that that seems to just be her role in the universe, right? So they have big plans. She's going to be their Nick Fury. Okay. Mm-hmm. Funny that you would bring up the Dark Avengers. Why? Because I have questions. Okay. I'll answer as as well as I can. I have a single question. Oh, okay. Just based on who we think is already going to be, like, in the Dark Avengers. Like, you and I, our theory is Abomination. Yeah, basically confirmed. uh, What's his name? Uh, The Budget Captain America, John Walker. Yeah, U.S. agent. Yeah, U.S. agent. And probably... Zemo. Probably Zemo. And there was someone else, wasn't there? I thought we had a fourth person. I think that's. I think the Black Widow. I think Yelena here, Yelena's the second Black be Widow. Yeah. Interesting. Which is what? Yeah, because that's what I'm curious. Because obviously the. Because I was gonna suggest. Taskmaster. I was gonna suggest they get him. Taskmaster and, would be a really good he's, one. He's, he's like, the Captain yeah. America. He's oh the no, Captain they already America. have a Captain America. He's like Captain though. America, Hawkeye. Hawkeye. He's Hawkeye yeah, the fuck he could, you want. Yeah, yeah, like he's. Well, that's that's kind of why I hope. Cause, um, and then maybe they could bring it back Taskmaster, and you have uh, Madame Hydra go. England tied uh, it. Fuck. Your boo. suit's not very good. We'll get you a cool suit like U.S. Yeah. Agent. The the problem is like, in in the comics, like the Thunderbolts and right, like the Dark Avengers especially are they're like just they're baddies, right? Especially the Dark Avengers when like That's Norman don't Norman's think, doing yeah. it. I don't think they're just, Black Widow is going to be in the Dark Avengers, but. but Neither would U.S. Agent in his current form. This is true. Maybe in his current state, but not, like, altruistically. Yeah, no, because like, if, he, he, if he had, like, a bird's eye view, like, a god's eye view of what was really going on, he probably wouldn't do it. Yeah, yeah, he could just be, like, tricked. He could just not, like, know. Yeah, but because he's kind of, like, in, like, a really feeble, like, mental state and, like, wants to do good, I think, like, she can just string him along at, with that and, like, kind of... But then, Even yeah, if they're, I like, completely corrupting him, just, like, lead him astray enough that he's, like, you know, part of the Dark Avengers. Yeah, yeah, because in the comics, like, they, they only pretend to be good to, like, the people, mm-hmm. right? They are obviously bad. I think you could even, like, go deeper and think that, like, they all think they're being good, but led by yeah. Madam Hydra, who is a bad. So they think they're, like, they're working, I like, also think, for like, the greater good. I feel like Zemo has to, like, there has to be something where Zemo, like, takes over. Yeah, I imagine Zemo either already knows that they're clearly not, like, some form of, like, new Avengers. Yeah, so he figures it out. Yeah, he figures it out and, you know, figures he's yeah, Zemo's they, they he have behind some, the scenes, yeah. They have some less, less than altruistic ideas. He wants to, like, get in on it whenever they, like, contact him. They're like, oh, yeah, sure, I'll figure this out. Or, or yeah, while, while in on it, he's like, hmm, this can't be. What's that shot? What's David Arbor oh, doing in there? It's like a prison? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, those look like riot guards of some kind. Yeah, okay. Oh, whoops. Okay, whatever. That's cool. I just wanted to see where that where he was at there. It was a quick shot. Interesting. Big tings. Yeah. That which... was basically all I had to say about the Dark Avengers. And then also, not related to this, Shang-Chi, Abomination related. Do you think they're introducing, like, Abomination in Shang-Chi? to set up for like dark avengers to set to, to like set up for him being like a tentpole character or 
or do you think it's just like a like a She Hulk thing and like? Yeah, I think it will mostly be She Hulk. I I kind of feel like the Shang Chi appearance is just to like ease him back in, just to test the waters. Yeah, so that he's not just, oh hey, Abomination's here, and also now he's being recruited by this girl <laughs> who's recruited all the other people. Oh yeah, it's don't like, oh, no. don't worry guys. Oh, yeah. Movie but yeah, now it's like now Abomination has been reintroduced. We know he's back. It's not just we're being he's sprung. Back and he's yeah, and he's now a temple character. Yeah, yeah. Not only is he just back and right, if he showed up in in set right episode fucking six, right? Like he's he's. He's in fucking even if he's even if he's the main character, right? Let's say let's say the whole thing in She Hulk is this one case, or like primarily, like he shows up episode two, three, and then mm-hmm. the rest of the series is just prosecuting Abomination, and at the end, Julia Louis Dreyfus shows up and just gets him off and takes him away. Um, which also, by the way, is just now my theory on how that show is going to like end. It's gonna <laughs> end with it's gonna be a, a case against like Abomination kind of thing, and she's just gonna show up and be like, actually, don't worry, guys. We'll take care of him. We'll handle it. And she'll just release him and be like, yo, you can either go back to jail where you were for like a decade or come work with me. Interesting. That makes, yeah, that makes a ton of sense. But yeah, if you just like spring that on us, like obviously that's a little, little harder to swallow up, which obviously I'm like, I, it, yeah, I, I wouldn't care. Cause yeah, I'm, I'm just stoked about I'm most. You and I have been like speculating an abomination return. Yeah. Like, since, 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 yeah. He since he disappeared. Since he disappeared. They never addressed yeah. him. No, they addressed him in Agents, Agents of Shield. Agents of Shield once. Yeah. yeah. They said that he was in like a prison somewhere. Yeah. Um, which is yeah, fucking canon. It's definitely like easier to like establish that he is free and roaming the world than it is to just have him like show up in this, in this Disney plus show. To set up for him to show up in a movie later. At least now he's in a movie, then in the show, oh, I didn't and now even, he'll yeah, be in a movie later. Probably that, like movie or TV shows aren't like supposed to. They're canon, but you 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 don't necessarily like have to watch them. You can get by in the universe only watching movies. Mm-hmm. And TVs are extra. Yeah. So, yeah, I didn't even consider that like they should probably establish him in a film yeah. before they put him in another film. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, so this way when, when Julia Louise Dreyfus does show up with her team of Abomination and all of them and you've only watched the movies, you'll go, Oh, okay. She went and got all the others like somewhere else. But like you can also just go watch. Because that's right, I imagine she'll somehow recruit uh, the new Black Widow in this movie or, or lay the seeds for recruiting her. Maybe David Harper. Maybe she maybe she gets Red Guardian, Red Guardian instead. As well. Yeah, I didn't even, um, I didn't even consider it. Yeah, I also didn't consider that because I don't I can't see him being a super major character going forward. Yeah. Um, whereas I, I know, whereas like, I expect so she'll be about, like how he's going to be portrayed like on screen. Yeah. I don't know. Like, yeah. Where his story will end. Yeah. But I imagine right. Black Widow will be the opposite. She will be continue to be important and do shit. Right. Like she's, she's going to be the new Black Widow. Like she's going to be the Scarlett Johansson replacement. Do you think that she's going to be Black Widow? Or do you think she'll have her comic name? Crimson Widow. You could do that. In like a, a they just they f- a they Captain America like Winter Soldier like bait and switch, where it's no longer they've a, they've a so Falcon far Winter like she- seemingly America. shied away with stuff, that's like. Right, because all all those people right, it's it's because they're like Russian. Right, mm. she, right. That's why she's crimson, and that's why, right? Um, one of one of Iron Man's biggest villains of all time is the Crimson Dynamo, and any of these characters, any of the the characters that are named in a way that they're just named that because of like where they're from. Captain America. Yeah, he's the only <laughs> one, and that's because like you, you like you can't like he's he's too important. You can't not have Captain America, but you could not have Crimson Dynamo. You cannot name her Crimson Widow, right? Like you can Yeah, you could not do. You could get away with not doing. Yeah. It. I'd be I'd be pretty Yeah, I wouldn't really care, like, but it yeah. just it seems like Marvel doesn't want to do that cuz they don't want to be like, "Oh, hey guys, remember that time when we put out like a shitload of anti-Russia and anti like Chinese propaganda?" <laughs> Like, possible. like the, these uh, Crimson Dynamo and Crimson Widow, they they weren't like good guys in the beginning for a reason. Uh, she is the Black Widow in this yeah, film, yeah. but they're they're setting up for another Black Widow to take the mantle. At least, yeah, seemingly. Or seemingly, yeah, nah, they could not be, but yeah, based on our interpretation of like the trailer and like the yeah. storyline and the events of like the MCU. What what I've read from like initial like viewings and stuff. It uh, seems like Yelena is going to be. The next or Yelena mm-hmm. or whoever you pronounce yeah. it is going to be the next Black Widow. And in the comics, she's she's a character called Crimson Widow. Yeah. 
and she, uh, well, because like Scarlett Johansson's like dead, right? Mm, you, there's only so much that. you can do with her without bringing in an alternate universe, which you could easily do, or more, because this is just a prequel, right? This is just takes place between Civil War and Infinity War, I guess, or yeah, Infinity War. Yeah. Um, but yeah, because of that, right? Obviously you're going to kind of want this movie to focus on and set up for other characters in the movie because if this is too like actually black widow centric it doesn't do it doesn't, anything to move yeah, the universe it forward do anything at all which they don't need right at this point the marvel universe is and yeah yeah she's pregnant so yeah there's not like they'd want to limit like everything yeah um but yeah, you don't like Marvel does have like 24 movies. They could easily afford to put out a movie that doesn't advance anything at all. But I don't think they're going to because it doesn't make as much money. Yeah. Because Why would I watch this whenever every other Marvel movie like does ties something into something, to right? A yeah. One. Yeah. Right. So a they'll want it to tie in, and then b for the future properties. For things, yeah. Yeah. If if they decide to make like a show of for Yelena or a movie, right? It's way easier to hype that up. When you've already had a good movie that's very, very clearly set up for it, mm-hmm. and where she was a focus of the movie and really likable. Yeah, even if she's not. Yeah, even if it's like a bad movie or people don't like it, people could still be like, "Oh no, she was really if, yeah, good." Yeah, yeah. If she, you, she's well received, then like, yeah. Yeah, that's what you do. You, you focus. Roll with that. You focus on the characters that you want moving forward. You make them the best parts of the movie, and then sorry, Scarlett Johansson, you maybe kind of get a little shafted because. Just I just noticed something here, which is probably pointed out. But like, I think this is a camera. Oh shit! Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah, you could easily have that be a camera. I think he just has a has a camera in his helmet, which makes, which is like a cool like a like attention to detail mm-hmm. for him, like recording like fights and like yeah. analyzing like footage. Yeah, and so stuff. you can watch like it back. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty neat. If that's what that is. That that shot, I'm like that's sick. <laughs> jumping like over her yeah with a shield oh yeah, uh, yeah cause, oh yeah i'm excited for more stuff like that. that's that's the thing like i want to be super hyped for taskmaster because i do think he's a really cool villain especially in a movie like this where he's fighting just like regular people like taskmaster incredibly imposing against human pe- human beings <laughs> like <laughs> Yeah, did you see that man fucking sliding yeah. down at you with a sword? In in the comics, like posing is like yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the comics, it's kind of lame whenever Taskmaster shows up to fight like Spider Man because I'm like, oh cool, he can fight like Captain America, but he's he's still fighting Spider Man. Like if Spider Man can just fucking throw him around, like he, it it's 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 a little hard to suspend my disbelief that he's he's a villain, he's a threat to Spider Man when he's just like a regular guy that's like impossibly good at fighting impossibly good yeah though. yeah impossibly good but still as good just as like anyone is at fighting spider-man has fought like actual captain america like he it shouldn't be like whoa he's using captain america's fighting style i'm now like screwed it's like well like no you, you <laughs> just move faster or something like you're, yeah, you're you have super america. speed and super strength and taskmaster just is slower and weaker than captain america <laughs> that boy that boy love that boy mm-hmm. heck all these boys how does how does Clint even physically keep up with these people? This man? Yeah. Like, he can only keep up. Yeah, no. Not even like she's yeah. just like yeah. He would she or she would kick his ass. Only maybe. She does. Yeah, well, only once when he's under like mind control. That's yeah, but that's un- under mind control from a god. He should be better. But it could just from make him like infinity sp- stone. But if 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 there's like even like a slight like lag, you know, <laughs> there's slight, slight delay. Yeah, <laughs> this input delay from the yeah. mind gem. Anything that potentially slows him down. I what? think yeah, David Harbour will be really cool as well in this. Uh, yeah, I uh, I've, I've only seen him in Stranger Things, so like I'm excited to see him in in literally anything else. Even though I feel like it'll be like. A similar if you're what you're saying like just like a more like fatherly like role but yeah. obviously like grittier like he's playing a i also think he's going to be a lot of comic relief probably yeah mm-hmm. seems like he's, he's probably going to play like a like an adult thor like a girl like a fat yeah thor yeah, or yeah, or, yeah, yeah he's going to be the the funny haha butt of the bunch of the jokes but then also like emotional father and that's hawkeye that's yeah that's just a hawkeye shot and a sick shot mm-hmm. bouncing it off the ground out of the car like that was a cool transition for the trailer that explosion into like this explosion 
And the sword that he's got the sword, he's got the shield. Like they almost nail Taskmaster, except for how he looks. <laughs> then that's what I'm saying. Elaine Bennis is gonna come in and it'll be like, Oh, US agent looks pretty cool. We could maybe update yeah, your costume. You know what? You know it'd be more intimidating than almost a skull? Like an actual skull. Oh, that's it. Oh man. I yeah, I'm just gonna buy it. Can I What up? Can I just buy it now? Black Widow? Yeah. Pre order it? Yeah. Like check. yeah. Go check. You can, you can take that off. Yeah, I don't give a shit. We're not doing anything. I think we're I think we're coming to a close here anyway. Yeah, I'm probably pretty close. We've we exhausted uh, Loki. Yeah. That wasn't that was pretty good though. Got got all my my big questions. Yeah, it's answered. The episode didn't really... I don't think they're open yet in Ontario. I, I was looking I was yeah, looking I the other so, day. I saw theaters open, like, in Quebec, because we're, we're close enough to the border that, like, I can see just when I, like, Google, like, theaters nearby. Yeah. But I didn't see any Cineplexes open. Yeah, as soon as the Cineplex opens, we're going to go see Black Widow. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I mean, I'm... Man, I'm going to spend so much money watching this fucking... Why? We, uh, you should have, like, a zillion scene points. Hell yeah, I guess I've seen points. I'm only going to spend money true. maybe Ubering back, so we yeah. can just bus there. We could even bus back if we go to, like, Barhaven or some shit. We could just go to the Coliseum. On yeah, but busing back is, like, harder because we have to walk to Lincoln Fields. Oh. If we go to Barhaven, then, like, the bus stop is, like, in that little, like, mall, like, area, you know? Oh, then we could hit up Colton. Oh, then we could also hit up Colton, yeah. I used um. to go watch movies in Barhaven all the time when I lived in Rez. Like, that was just the move. I don't know, we always just went there, because we usually had a car, and it's, like, that makes a lot of way sense. closer. Um, Ontario theaters will be open in step three. When's step three? By the end of July. So that's It's July 7th. Yeah, so sometime this month, sometime theaters will the reopen. The yeah. Theaters. Well, give them to us, Doug. Quebec theaters have been open since February. Damn. But I, is it? It's not in theaters currently. Like, is it? No, it comes out Friday. So, could we go to Quebec and watch it? You telling me people in Quebec are going to be watching this in two days? Probably, yeah. Bro, what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, we just can't. It's a little messed up. Yeah, we have to wait until the end of the month. Which doesn't. <sighs> I get Good it. But vaccinated like, boy. Movie theaters seem like one. That <clears throat> should be pretty easy to keep, like, pretty safe. Yeah. You, you just, just have people come in and sanitize, only see it, sit, like, X amount of way away. Can you I get should. it? I, I clicked this, it switched to Love, Love Victor. Love Victor, bro. <laughs> Sorry. Love Victor, That's you're not, not what I want. Black Widow. Oh, well, can you pre-order it? $35. Well, it's this more, shit. it's, oh, man, it wasn't, the other ones weren't $35. $35. Hey, Google. What's thirty five dollars in euros? Thirty five dollars is approximately twenty three euros and seventy three cents. Yo Marty, would you pay twenty three euros and seventy three cents to watch a movie? Not even own it, just just watch it, just stream it one time at home. On you a, stream it you, yeah, yeah, I could stream it. No, forever. Like uh, forever? I just yeah, I just own it. I I have it until. It, it, oh yeah, I guess yeah, because so, yeah. it'll eventually just be on there like for free. But yeah, I can yeah. just watch it as many times as I want. Yeah, uh, I uh, no? absolutely would not <laughs> then, either. Don't forget, you're also paying like oh, yeah, the ten dollars a month. Yeah, like uh, yeah, you're also paying like the monthly so subscription fucked. fee. Why are you like this, Disney? Like I get it, but like I people also will pay for it. it. Like you, I know. I I thought I I argued for it. I would do it. I for vehemently like, argued for it. I would it. also I also argued for it. I would do it for occasional movies, which is why I argued for it. But yeah, I'm not. I'm not yeah, I'm definitely. Yeah, for Black Widow. there's there's a reason we didn't watch Rye the Last Dragon until it was fucking. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah and yeah. I wouldn't have even minded if if you were like oh well it was it was thirty five dollars like and you yeah, transfer me seventeen dollars like yeah, I would be like oh Raya the Last done. Dragon for sure like that was a great movie and for like families and stuff this is infinitely better than like going to a theater but cost wise yeah obviously if, I, if you have a family of four you go to the theater twelve dollars a ticket plus what an average of ten dollars in snacks a person maybe. That's yeah. probably pretty cheap. I usually spend more in snacks than I do on my ticket. Yeah, definitely. So, but even if that's that's you're looking at fucking uh, like like eighty eight dollars like, yeah, like with in, in snacks oh, and yeah. like both like okay, combined yeah. like compared to thirty five dollars plus what you feed a family in four in snacks, 
a couple bags of popcorn, a couple bags of chips, and you're way under what you'd spend yeah, at a fucking theater, right? Like, yeah. yeah. Obviously, for one, right, like, one person living on their own, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, theaters are, man, shit's expensive. The, what the, what the number one combo at Cineplex is, like, uh, large popcorn, large drink, and a bag of candy. And is it's, that, like, fucking, like, 16 $17? Yeah, it's, like, yeah, it's, like, $17, $18. Yeah, it's fucked. Yeah. It's insane. And I do it every time. Yeah, I always get, like, nachos and a hot dog, and it's something like $13 or something. Yeah. You can get deep fried uh, KD bites, and you get like five of them for like yes yeah, six bucks. And Canadians like, are like, statistically less fat than Americans, but in my anecdotal experience, we eat just as poorly. Yeah, uh, yeah. We just we just have less uh, less damaging options around us. If we had America's menu in Canada, we would probably be just as obese. Yeah, almost certainly. Twenty six point eight percent of Canadians are obese. 20, 26.8? Oh, man, yeah. Isn't isn't America just like like? 33? America's over 30, yeah. yeah. Yeah, America's just over a third, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, that's not, that's not that bad. That's pretty, or not that bad. That's not that far of a gap. It's very bad. Yeah. Over a quarter of us are obese. Come on, guys. Well, yeah, we have, we have like whole ass dinners. You can have like the drinks. Cineplex, just like regular movie theaters, the most common movie theater. Most of them you can have alcohol now. Oh what? Yeah, you just buy alcohol there? Yeah, you, uh, I, I don't think there's much, but like yeah, beers and like coolers. Whoa. They just have yeah. I remember I went to I think it was the Barhaven one, and Jacob Lucktar showed up. He walked over to the thing, came over holding a beer. <laughs> I was just like, wait, and he's like, yeah, they sell beer here now. Like you don't have to go to the super fancy like VIP one to get alcohol at a movie theater anymore. You just get alcohol. You just get like yeah, beer. How much? Probably fucking stupid expensive. But I like, didn't know. I mean, look, like how like, much can you buy? Oh, <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Like, yeah. Can you just get like? Can you just walk up and it'll be like, "Oh, can I get six rum and cokes?" It's like it's a fucking three-hour movie, guy. Like, what do you mean? I don't want to come back out. Yeah, no, yeah, he. I think he only got like two or three while we were there. At once? No, like totally. Like, yeah, he got one. But I went mean, back. like at once. Like, how many will they give you? Probably not a lot. Most people just go the small popcorn. What? Bro, Portugal sounds weak. Yeah, no. For, has to be large popcorn. Has to be a large drink. Yeah, it has to be. And then, yeah. In Portugal, malnourished. If 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 I'm if I'm financially feeling myself, maybe we get some like nachos or like real food. I gotta get nachos with like the the disgusting. Yeah, the shitty cheese. plastic cheese. It's yeah. so good. I love it so Amazing. much. Yeah, we there's also like VIP theaters where you can like go to, and it's it's like really expensive. But there's like a whole ass like meal. Like you get brought a menu. And you, Where's like, the, where, order. What is this? Oh, fuck. Is this a, at a Cineplex? I don't think it's a Cineplex. Okay. I was, yeah, I was like, is there some fucking VIP Cineplex theaters? I don't know. Bro, how are we not fat? I genuinely, people ask me all the time when they see me. Like, yeah, how Tyler I especially. Oh, like, maybe I it is a Cineplex. so unbelievably poorly, but I just, I don't know. I shed it all off. Yeah, I think it I is like a, a tapeworm. Cineplex. I have, like, a family of tapeworms living in me, and they eat all my food yeah, for it's, me. Yeah, it's unbelievable the what this man can eat and not, like, gain any weight. All of it. Give it to me. I'll, I'll I, gain weight. I, uh, I'm, I'm surprised we've never said that. I used to be fat, Marty. I'm surprised we've never brought yeah, this up. Yeah, I don't think up. we've ever addressed that, yeah. But yeah, I used to be... I used to weigh... Didn't you lose like 80 pounds? Yeah, I used to weigh over 230 pounds. pounds. That's fucked. Yeah. And then, yeah, 140 was the, the lowest I ever went down to. And I think currently I'd be like 150, 160-ish. I think I'm around between 140 oh, and 150, shit. but I don't know. Yeah, for, for that's when I like started putting on weight. But I foolishly didn't start losing weight until I was, like, 19. Okay, yeah. VIP screens. Shit. Lansdowne? Interesting. Yeah. That makes sense. Reserved comfy seating plus indulgent snacks, appetizers, entree, beer, wine, and cocktails delivered to your seat or in our lounge. Like, you, they, like there's a menu. You order food and drinks, and they bring you how the food. Do you, how do I order? Is it, like, through an app, or do I, like, hit a button on my chair? Like, how does someone come to me if I want I, something? I don't know. I do think I have to motion at them, like, we're in the fucking 40s? I think you gave it, yeah. I think you, like, gave them back, like, I think, like, you actually, like, checked. But I've, I never went. Jean-Marc Wait, went. Wait, so at, like, the beginning of the movie or some shit, or yeah. just at, like, various points throughout the film? We, we, yeah, we use pounds. We use pounds. Well, we, we, we write LBS, but th- that's the same thing. Yeah, pounds pounds and LBS is the same thing. Did you yeah. mean to write kilos yeah. there for one of those? Because, like, if you told me kilos, like, I would I could, like, figure yeah, it I out. Yeah, do the math. But, like, yeah. Yeah, but it, and it's, it's weird. For, like, for, for individuals, pounds. we'll use, like, pounds. But then for, like, like, a lot of stuff, we'll use, like, kilograms. 
It's it's Canada has like a weird like mix. Anything yeah. that's like really heavy generally gets used like kilograms. It's it's no, like it's just retarded. Okay. Flat pounds oh. and LBS are different things. Yeah, for whatever reason, LBS is just the abbreviation for yeah, pounds. Yeah, I don't really know don't why that either. is. Yeah. I have no idea why that is, actually. Yeah. I'm going to try Googling why is LBS pounds. <laughs> Load bearing. I have no idea what's... what's it comes from... Because uh, pound comes from the ancient Roman uh, unit of measure was a Libra Pondo. Oh, okay. A Libra Pondo. Which That's meant a pound. a pound by weight. So the English pound took from that, Libra which means the elevation, the, yeah, which means LB became the abbreviation, Libra and LBS pondo. is just plural. Plural, yeah, yeah. LBS okay. is just pounds. Uh. Okay, so yeah, it's just Libra pondo, LB. 125 is way too fucking skinny, Marty. You gotta That's, fucking eat, my guy. Yeah, how tall are you? So yeah, 125 is like. Yeah, I guess if Marty's like five four, that's not. Yeah, that yeah, bad. yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's not great, but like, yeah, if Marty's like out here six two, like, buddy, you gotta you gotta <laughs> turn this off and go eat some food. <laughs> Stuff yeah. something in there. Get more Burger King. <laughs> yeah, for real. I'll order you Burger King. One hundred and seventy six. Hey Google, what's one hundred and seventy six centimeters in feet? Five foot ten ish. Five nine. Okay. 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 You should probably eat more, Marty. Yeah. Oh yeah. Also, weird thing about Canada is we use like height and uh, our height is like in in feet and inches, despite us using like centimeters for, and like meters everything for like else. everything else. Yeah. You tell me your height in centimeters or meters, I'm like man, j- gibberish. Sure. <laughs> what? But, yeah. But then yeah, if I'm going like I'm like oh yeah, it's it's two kilometers over that way or something like that. <laughs> I would I'm, I would never say oh yeah, just a mile down the road. Short like, distances, I'll say feet. But if you were to say yeah. like oh this is like three meters, like I would I would know exactly what you mean. Yeah. But I would say, yeah, oh, I'm gonna this go is, ten feet over like there. 10 feet, yeah. yeah, as opposed to three meters. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Canada is weird. Two meals a day. He's on that. He's on that David Sinclair David vibe. Smart. Yeah. He knows. Which is like a little bit of malnutrition, a little bit of not starvation, <laughs> a little bit of uh, you know, yeah, just, hunger just keeps hungry. you through it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how important like how many meals you eat is as long as you're getting like enough enough calories yeah, in those meals. Caloric intake and then maybe what time of day you eat them like offend uh, like affects like digestion but not like nutrition. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if this site is Oh, Trust for America's Health. That sounds pretty legit. It does sound legit. A uh, US US obesity rate stands at 42.4%. Holy shit. 42% yeah, that's that's forty two. That's the national adult obesity rate has increased twenty six percent since two thousand and eight. What the fuck? An extra quarter of the population in the last what is that like twelve years? I'm just saying more anecdotal evidence for marijuana being a weight loss drug. Colorado has the lowest. <laughs> At what? What percentage? Twenty three point eight. That's so low. That's sub Canada. Yeah, that's sub Canada. That's oh man, Colorado. All the skinny potheads. That's crazy. Also, this can't all be the snowboarding and smoking. This can't be true. There. This the. Uh, <laughs> Are you getting baited right now? This is a clickbait website. Okay, no, I think they're just using data from different times. Because <laughs> this this forty two point four is for like twenty twenty apparently. But then below, it starts talking about 2019 data. And it was like the highest adult rate is 40.8. I was like, that. then it, it, it can't be 42 for the whole country. Yeah. The, st- the highest state's 40? <laughs> that's yeah, wrong. Yeah, that's way too much. That's bad. <clears throat> and to be fair, oh, obesity isn't like the the like the tell Because like, especially if they're just using BMI to determine that. Yeah, BMI, BMI is a little is bit bad. broken if yeah. you're not like a fucking... Uh, cookie cutter human being yeah yeah right dwayne johnson would count in that 42 percent if it's on bmi yeah. and dwayne johnson obviously not, not in obese. bad shape right he's he's not an obese man he is he's just he's too heavy yeah if you took his bmi he'd probably be like dramatically over yeah like o- overweight i don't know what his like height and weight are exactly we're we gonna do it we're we gonna do yeah. dwayne the rock dwayne the rock johnson's yeah, we're gonna, bmi we're gonna let's figure out it. his bmi 1.96 meters uh BMI calculator, let's go. 118 kilograms. Fuck, that's a huge man. What a fucking behemoth. Yeah, he's, what is he, like fucking like 230 of muscle? Yeah, what is this in fucking... 196 centimeters? That didn't help me. 
Yeah, it's got it's probably like six two. Six, six four. Six four. Six foot four. Hundred and eighteen kilograms, I think it said. Hundred and eighteen kilograms. Yeah, hundred and seventy six <laughs> is so fucking high, Marty. Marty knows what that means. You're right here trying to convert centimeters, and Marty's just like, <laughs> it's so big. 260 pounds. Jesus. No. So his BMI is 31.6. Anything above 30 is obese. He's, oh, yeah. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dwayne Johnson like is just obese, according to those measurements. Yeah. But obviously. It doesn't work at, like, the reverse end as well. If you have really, like, small people, like, like they can also have, like, a broken, like, BMI. Obviously, this man, this man's not obese. <laughs> like, obviously, right? So, like, yeah, there, there are issues with, with using BMI and right with just looking up. Yeah. Oh, this thing said that, uh, forty-two percent of Americans are obese. Cause, like, well, yeah, but that's yeah. as a rule of thumb, BMI is like fine. Yeah, yeah, it's a but decent like general any, like, real indicator. Like, it's yeah, it's not. It's only a surface level thing. It's like not even like a scratch. Yeah. And even that, right, like, plenty of people can be, like, a little overweight and be perfectly healthy, right? Like, Do you know the, the average height in Portugal? Because, like, 5'9 five, five, is, like, maybe a little short, but, like, only, I think 5'9 like, is almost exactly average in Canada. It might yeah. be a little above. Okay. 172 and you're 176, so, yeah, like, an inch. You're just, like, a, like, a, like an inch in a bit. Taller yeah. than average, interesting. Yeah. Or taller than it's, okay, yeah, yeah. Canadian average is one seventy four centimeters, according 174? to one seventy four. Okay, Marty's even taller this, than our average. Yeah. Nice. Damn, we're like you and I are like a couple inches taller than average. Then that's yeah. wild. Yeah, I'm almost three inches. Yeah, I like it. Feels good. Feels yeah. good up here. <laughs> it's average weight in Canada. <sighs> that's the other thing, um, right? If Canada was at 26% obese, right, and America was at 30% obese, that seems like we're, we're super close. But that doesn't necessarily mean the health problem's on the same level. Because if you're 250 pounds and 5 foot 10, you're obese. If you're 600 pounds and 5 foot 10, you're obese. But one of those is, is a lot, like, harder to deal with than yeah, the other. This is true. Right, average weight in Canada is 187 pounds for men? After the age of what? I think it's just adults. At, at 18? That is, at 18, that's Wikipedia. If we're counting for 18-year-olds, the average weight is not 180 pounds. StatCan, here we go. StatCan seems like a great source. That's that's obscene. That's fucked up. I don't weigh that much. I don't know people that... I mean, I know people that weigh that much, but it's definitely not like... I'm not fucking blinking every time. I, like it's there's, They're not there every time I open my eyes, you know? Yeah, so yeah, no, it's it's yeah, yeah, that's just what it is. It's like eighty two to eighty four kilograms, which is yeah, like a hundred and yeah. Man, we don't weigh enough. Gotta go bulk up. Yeah, I'm yeah, we're well below the average of that. It's the average weight in America. It says averaging hundred and twenty one pounds. What? The average weight is 121 pounds. Is that what you know. just said? 181. Oh, okay. Let's see. Yeah, it's about the same. How are they more well, obese than us? Pounds. But our average weight is the same. More skinny people, I guess. They have more extremes on both ends of the spectrum. One of one of his friends. 200 friends. pounds. pounds <laughs> I've been yeah. there. It wasn't great. You can be 200 pounds. You can be 200 pounds, and yeah, yeah. Easily, yeah. Based on pounds, based yeah. on the, the LMAO, I'm guessing his friend isn't fit though. <laughs> you wouldn't feel like, oh, my friend's 200 pounds. If <laughs> he's like fucking, fucking joke, bro. <laughs> like, yeah, he's, well. he's shredded, yeah. He is fit. Oh, oh shit. Whoa. whoa, nice. Man, here we are roasting yeah. this guy. Yeah. That can fucking <laughs> crush beats yeah. us up. <laughs> crush our skulls. I don't think I know anyone that's 200 pounds and fit. I don't know how much Brent weighs, but he's like, he's got to be like. Yeah, probably would up be there, heavy. one one eighty, one ninety, maybe two hundred. Oh yeah, if he's a rugby player, on yeah. A bad day. Oh yeah, no. You gotta be rugby, pretty strong, pretty be a hefty boy. Beast yeah. to play rugby. Yeah, gotta be a fucking thickums to play rugby. Mm -hmm. I played like just like fucking like high school, like fucking around like rugby, and it was yeah. Awful. I played rugby in in uh in gym class, yeah, a mm -hmm. couple times. It's fun. It's a fun game. It's it's tough though. It's mm, tough to really uh, tough to get used to because just. In North America, your your mind is like acclimated to football. Yeah, yeah. 
so rugby is transition, very... yeah even even having like not even played proper football trying to play like rugby i was like just treating it like how i would like yeah you how just, i you like, know, think about football you know yeah. the football rules even if you don't like play football you know like the, the basics, basics yeah, yeah. Sure. throw the ball forward right yeah. like but there is no forward but pass yeah you just then can't do that yeah you can only throw laterally and back <laughs> I love it. Oh yeah, we play lots of soccer. Yeah, yeah. It's not like yeah. It's definitely like mostly hockey. Where mm-hmm. where like we grew up, like everyone played hockey. But like I was in a, I was in like a rec soccer league like yeah. almost every summer as like a kid. I don't know if you were, but I played uh, yeah, soccer. Yeah, I played like, a couple years. I played soccer like almost every year as a kid. I was uh, on my high school soccer team in grade twelve. Mm-hmm. Uh, like yeah, like there's like school teams. And the seasons, like, the seasons for, like, uh, the leagues, like, coincide pretty well because, obviously, hockey ends Mm -hmm. shortly after winter, right? Pick up soccer. Yeah, and so then, yeah, you just – so a lot of people did both, right? I did, right? I I would do Mm – I only played both for, like, a couple of seasons. But there was one year where, yeah, it's hockey, soccer, hockey. Which was dope. Great way to keep fit. Soccer was cheap, easy. Why it's the number one sport in the world? Yeah, yeah. You just, you, a yeah, you just need a ball, and shoes. You don't even need shoes. You don't need shoes, but it's just I way easier with. Yeah, shoes. I wouldn't want to kick a soccer ball without shoes on. Yeah, Fox Steve, soccer. Stevens out here hating on soccer, bro. Soccer is fine. It's just the diving is kind of hard to watch. Yeah. Yeah, we were watching the. Oh yeah, I I played every sport I could. I was just in terrible shape and bad. So like. I didn't play anything at any any high level. Soccer, like as like a diehard hockey fan, soccer just is the superior sport, but but not for watching, but for uh, human like interaction and just like enjoyment, soccer is better. Only because it's so cheap and easy. Exactly. But hockey, like, is more fun. Hockey has like a higher but barrier yeah, to entry, so... and like you you need like a, a high. Not like a higher skill level, like you can be like just as skilled and play like soccer like just as well, but like you like it's, it's a steeper learning curve. Yeah, I think. there's more things. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you can. Let alone like price wise that barrier on entry, but just like learning how to play is harder than learning. You how throw to play you throw a child a soccer ball, they can play soccer. Yeah, they it, figure they it out. Just, they kick yeah, the ball yeah, around, they, yeah. and you're like, oh, okay, kick it in this direction, yeah. boom, soccer. You, you throw a bunch of hockey equipment in front of a kid, and we're like, get out there. You have to go. Like They, they have no fucking they can't even clue. They can't even get on the ice. They can't even get dressed. Like They wouldn't even be able to figure out the equipment. Yeah. And even if they then could, if they don't know how to skate, <laughs> they make it zero far. Like They step on the ice and fall, right? Like So, yeah. Yeah, soccer is definitely the more like universal sport, just because mm-hmm. like it's yeah, it's it's way easier. Yeah, if it's aliens way... come to the planet and challenge us to a sport, it's soccer. We yeah. play them in soccer. <laughs> Unless they come from like a fiery planet, and then we're like, no hockey. <laughs> yeah. And then they're like, no soccer. This ball game, we can figure it out. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Not this ice knife game. What do we do with this? R- frozen rubber. <laughs> this game's too complex. Man, I just want it to be Friday. I'm even more hyped for Black Widow now that we've we've talked about it. Yeah, that got me. That got me a little stoked. I I I uh, like I obviously the you can never really trust uh, the the reviews, right? The or the the initial reactions. Yeah, we like so much trash garbage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, and right. The initial reactions are almost always right here's here I found I found the Reddit thread. Okay. Um Oh shit, no. Oh fuck. I gotta get out of there. Like I'm sorry, there might have been Black Widow spoilers on the screen. Oh no, I I I, okay, I nice. away from you okay, a, few, a few minutes ago. I thought that was a different uh a different thing. I thought that was the the no, we're safe. We're just watching the trailer. Nice. But yeah, there was there was a mega thread for all the like critics like uh, reactions, but it's gone now, and instead it's international release discussion thread. Oh, so just for people yeah. that have already seen it, <laughs> I, I was about to start there. scrolling, and I was like, wait a second, international? That's not the same word. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the IMDb reviews are always like uh, like drastically like they're always like disproportionately in favor of of the movie before like movies like come out. Yeah, and uh, Black Widow is currently at a seven out of ten. That's oh, not wow. that's not very high. That's not very high. Yeah, 
And then, yeah, all right, all the critics are going like, oh, wow, like amazing. It blew my mind. Like, what a great move. But, like, they, they right, if you look at the, the initial critics' reactions to, like, every Marvel movie, it's the same thing. If you look at the advanced stats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, you, right when, when Thor 2, right, all, all the initial reactions to that were that it was good. And then it comes out and it was fucking, like, literal dog shit. Like, it was horrible. I liked uh, a lot of the the character building with Thor and Loki in that in that movie and a lot of like the the scenes like on Asgard were like cool like all of like the Asgard like world building like seemed like like cool and fun and well done but then just the actual like plot of Thor like 2 and then like the rest of the movie yeah like all I didn't want to watch I didn't so care about like the stuff. dark elves the aether was kind of like weird and not really well explained and like Jane Foster getting like sick <laughs> with it was like kind of like dumb it was really yeah. weird Especially if they knew that was going to be a fucking Infinity yeah. Stone at the time. Yeah. And it really doesn't make any sense. Seems very, like, yeah, it just seems like a strange film. Yeah, which is why, like, that scene in fucking Endgame and where the they're, like, making fun of it. The scene where Selvig, like, takes Thor to a fucking... So, no, re- that's a different movie. Can you rewind this a bit? No, it isn't. Yeah, what up? So who, who's the person that's swinging? Is it Black Widow? In the, in the, like... Did I already pass it? No. Yeah, that. Or is that Taskmaster? I think that's looks Taskmaster. Looks like Taskmaster yeah. and like his sword yeah, his dragging. Sword. Yeah. Okay. Let me let me slow that's it down sick. as much as we can, and I'll s- skip through it, and we'll see. Oh yeah, almost yeah. certainly yeah. that's Taskmaster. It's got to be. So that's Spider Man. Oh, I didn't even consider that. So we've got mm. we've got Spider Man, Black Panther, Captain America, and Hawkeye, Hawkeye, at least. Yeah, all Just that he's trailer. like shown. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, there there could be like lots. Of, Cause yeah, I I saw it right the last time. I was like, that looks a lot, but like I wasn't certain yeah, it was that Taskmaster. Is, that is very web slinger esque. Yeah, very right. He, he even like right even his like feet are like coming up, up yeah. at the end. Yeah, that's just like a Spider Man fucking web sling. Except you're watching tapes of Spider-Man swinging around. Yeah, he's just watching tapes of all like the heroes. Yeah, this will be really cool to wa- watch mm-hmm. or like fight like different like uh, like yeah. hero styles. Yeah, that's that why seen. like I really hope he's done. He's done like well. Mm-hmm. Agreed. But again, right? Agreed. N- none, none of the like critic rec- like th- that I've read have mentioned him. And granted. Right, it's they were all tweets. They only yeah. had like a little. Right, it's not like they were fucking writing I want actual them to articles. Say, Taskmaster stole the show. Incredible MCU villain. Can't wait for him to return. Yeah, but instead he just doesn't even get mentioned. Yeah. And the few that do mention him, it's stuff like Taskmaster was in this movie. <laughs> it's like, well, that doesn't bode well. <laughs> I, I wanted you to be like, holy shit, you can't miss this movie because Taskmaster is exactly. in it. Exactly. Not just yeah, he was also there. <laughs> Yeah, from right again, right like what I've read, the side characters are all great, the action scenes are dope, Black Widow kind of shafted. Hawk gets shafted by the fact that this movie came out like a decade late. (laughs) Like I don't care about Black Widow; she's fucking dead. That's kind of the issue. This movie should have come out like when it canonically takes place. Yeah. Yeah, and that's when the the people say like that, like the movie's just kind of like that. It's not even just. Because, like, all oh, Black Widow's dead, it very much, like, feels while watching that's like, oh, well, Black Widow is dead, so we'd better make sure all the other characters are yeah, more, like, oh, important. Shit. Oh, we didn't introduce the Red Guardian or yelling, oh, 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 Black Widow's dead, what do we do? Yeah. Kevin just walks into the room, boys. No worries. Prequel. Yeah, prequel. <laughs> we just have her be, like, Say it with me. barely the main prequel. character. Yeah. We just give her the majority of the screen time by, by enough. <laughs> So it, it does kind of feel like that, but like I'm hoping we're wrong. Because I think she's gonna get her own TV show. Yelena. 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 <laughs> but yeah, she right. She's gonna get her own TV show probably. I doubt she gets a movie. Damn, how did I miss? Unless that? unless this does really well. How did I miss that like web thing? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, if this movie fucking like kills it, if it if if everyone in America fucking two billion dollars, yeah, then yeah, Black or second Black Widow probably gets her own movie. But I imagine they're probably going to go Disney Plus show. And if you're going to do that, right, you want her to be Only almost like the star maybe. of this. Yeah, just because, like... Not the star, but you want her to be the best part. The show's... You want everyone to finish this movie going, man, I can't wait to see Yelena again. I really want to see Red Guardian again. Do the shows right, like, make money? 
No. It's just, it's essentially Disney, Disney Plus, Plus like yeah. advertising. Yeah. It's just like, hey, come get Disney Plus. We have all the sick like shows. Yes. So I imagine, like they would, they yeah, they could just give her a TV show. But yeah, like you're saying, like if she's big enough, if they think they can get yeah, that's more money out of a movie, they I think they just give her like a movie. If that they, is if how this it makes depends. like if this makes fucking like eight hundred thousand or eight hundred uh, million dollars. Like they might just test the waters and go make a Black Widow two with. With yeah. Crimson Widow or whatever. Marvel Marvel will have to do some sort of like cost analysis, right? Yeah. They might have already done it. I imagine but they right, have, yeah. The the most profitable characters are obviously gonna continue to be movies. Spider Man. But also America. obviously not like entirely. Because Loki would make far more money as a movie than Black Widow, I imagine. Definitely. Right? So they, they are gonna have to have some flagship because that's the other thing they want I also people. Think Loki comes back into the main timeline maybe. eventually, but yeah, I don't. But know. But they want they want people to have Disney Plus, and more importantly, they want you to always have Disney Plus. Mm-hmm. They they don't want you to buy Disney Plus for the run of Loki and then stop. They want to have enough enough flagship properties and other properties that you're like, well, I'll just keep it because Loki came out, and now there's going to be a Black Widow seat, right? So if it's all just She Hulk's and and Right, WandaVision, right? Like, I guess WandaVision is not a good example. But if it's just She Hulks and Hawkeyes and, like, black, right? Like, if you don't have the big name characters that people, like, really want to see, you're not going to make as much money on Disney Plus. It's true. So they're going to have to try and, like, balance you're which right. characters do they need to put on screen and which are still, like, huge, but, like, not yeah, so, yeah. right? Like, huge enough that there's, like, a massive draw to Disney Plus that, like, She Hulk doesn't have. But then if you have this, right, if Black Widow is huge, right, everyone loves Black Widow, and they put her on Disney+, Plus and it comes out right before She-Hulk Season 2, right, and you watched it, and you just fucking loved Black Widow, and She-Hulk's coming out in a week, maybe you just keep Disney+. Plus. I don't, I can't think of another character besides Loki that is big enough that they would do, like, a bigger movie than Black Widow, almost guaranteed. Yeah. But like you could you could sneak them into a like a like a like a show like a, on Disney Plus and like it would it it carries the platform. People yeah. would get people. I imagine are getting. Lo- I imagine Disney Plus numbers on the rise. Yeah, because of this yeah, show. yeah. I imagine Loki caused a huge rise yeah, in subscribers. Exactly. So like, but I can't think of another character that you could do that with. But maybe I, I'm you, just, maybe I'm just blanking because I'm on the spot right theoretically, now. Theoretically, you can do it with anyone. You just kind of have to decide like, who has when like, and the where. biggest appeal though. I don't give a flying fuck about Hawkeye. I don't their Disney Plus numbers are spiking this high whenever like Hawkeye comes out. Yeah, but you could do like a like a Spider-Man limited series. Right? You could do like so? these things. Yeah, they you would do just that? have to That's right. They that's you would just have to as Disney Plus Obviously, right? like, Disney you can, Marvel. But it's like will they or will they You go, would have to look at the characters money. and decide yeah. is it worth it? How much do we make on Disney Plus? Um mm-hmm. right, if Disney Plus numbers are dropping, then yeah, you're going to want to announce a show that's huge. It's true. I, yeah, I guess it yeah. It right, it ultimately all depends on like how Disney Plus it's does. This weird symbiotic relationship where you need Disney Plus to show like your Marvel content, but you need to put or like you then bleh. You need like Disney Plus to show like your back burner Marvel content, but then you need good like, enough your, content yeah, good. that people pay for Disney Plus. Exactly. So it can't just be Hawkeyes and She Hulks. Yeah. Even though like for me, right, I'm I'm in, right? She Hulk and Hawkeye, I'm buying it. Oh, it's coming out mm-hmm. in six months, I'm paying today. Great. <laughs> good. <laughs> but I right to a casual right like the the more casual Marvel fan, it's not gonna be enough. You're not gonna pay for six months of Disney Plus because She Hulk and and Hawkeye are coming out. But you will for Absolutely WandaVision, not. Falcon, uh, Winter Soldier, uh, Loki, right? These huge flagship characters. Yeah, if you didn't have Disney+, Plus, I probably get it. But it's probably at the end of this show that I like am, am like well, I considering canceling it. Yeah. it. Okay, yeah. At the end of Loki, I okay, mean. Okay, yeah. If, if, you, if we didn't live together, I'd probably get like Disney+, Plus and watch WandaVision. Just because like, I know other stuff is coming out in WandaVision's like like a new like thing that they're kind of testing out i'm like i'll get that i'll watch captain america or falcon and winter soldier whenever that comes out mm-hmm. and then i'll watch loki but i don't know if you weren't living here i feel like i might cancel disney plus because i don't know if what if and hawkeye and she hulk are enough to like carry the rest of the like the yeah. year for me you know and that's where right. that's what they're going to have to put out some huge characters on Disney Plus, more Loki-esque. Yeah, to avoid, yeah, to avoid that happening. 
and then just or hope break it up enough. Hope that when they watch that, they see Raya the Last Dragon, and they see right um, She Hulk, and they like these things, and they go, "Oh, Disney Plus I'm does have for like She-Hulk. yeah, right? It, it has other good content besides just the Marvel shows." Because I know, right, when I first got Disney+, Plus, that was the huge issue. Was It, it sucked. <laughs> there yeah, was just nothing. All the stuff? Yeah, you could watch Marvel movies, Star Wars movies, and old Disney movies. But if you didn't want to watch that, which was, like, still a lot, but it was almost exclusively yeah, movies. Yeah, it was very limited and selection, yeah, even did, though it was, like, like a lot, like, yeah, amount-wise. Yeah. yeah. You're pretty limited in what you had to choose from. Mm-hmm. But now, with, with Star and with more and more Disney Plus titles coming, right? Like, Riot of the Last Dragon was fucking, like, sick. And that I would have it. never watched that if I didn't have Disney Plus, right? So, like, that, right? I'm going to have Disney Plus forever. I Like, you've got me. You've got me. Like, it's it's over. Like, I, until the day I die or I'm fin- financially unable to pay for it, I have Disney Plus. My children will be watching this Disney Plus account. <laughs> like it's yo, that's sick. Yo, no, I'm pretty fucking stoked for that. <laughs> so, sucks to be a parent in the past, because I can just be like, yo, kids, you want to watch sick fucking Here's Disney shit? Disney yeah, Plus yeah, I can just. Uh, this, is, this is your granddad's Disney Plus account. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As long as this service is available and I am physically able to have it, it's mine. Passed down. Yeah, generation. right? Yeah. So they just they need more people like me. And the only way you do that is by, in a Netflix-esque like way, you have like so much good to- content. And imp- more importantly, new huge content to constantly keep people talking about your streaming service. And then once they get there, they're like, holy shit, I can't live without this now. There's too much yeah, good stuff on here. You need people to constantly keep talking about it. But that sucks because I want it all to be released at once. I don't want weekly episode things. Yes. I want to binge. Yeah, weekly is rough because, well, it, it enabled us to do this. The, <laughs> yeah, the only way we get to we get to that point, though, is if they're just so oversaturated with content that it doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter that they're giving us Loki all at once because, like, a yeah, week from just, now, yeah, like, some other show. show yeah. yeah, But they're not going to want to do that because Marvel's scared of, like, oversaturating the market. Yeah, ob- ob- yeah, they, uh, they're probably not oversaturating us with just like MCU stuff. Yeah, though. yeah, with yeah. other like Star be, Wars I and it's like Disney, Disney like, stuff. and yeah. shit. Yeah, Disney would give us Loki all at once because like like next week like the whole season of or whatever is coming out like some other like bullshit and then the week after that like Rogue Two. <laughs> like, yeah, is there a Rogue One sequel coming? <laughs> like, oh <laughs> no. Uh, well, yes, it's the original trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, it's the rest of the timeline. Yeah, yeah it's everything everything else. <laughs> so, like, who is it? Rogue One, like, it literally ends at the beginning of episode four of A New Hope. Like, it's yeah. just... You're telling me nothing happens in those seconds in between? I, I Like, it might not even be seconds. There might be, like, slight overlap. Like, I think, oh, yeah, I think, cool. like, wow. yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, the ending of Rogue One is just That's the starting of MCU A New Hope. MCU supercut it's, with the... Yeah, the fucking yeah, really the sick. Tony Stark. Except the it would be super jarring because you're going from like the like one of the best looking movies to just suddenly like a 1978 <laughs> yeah. like fucking. Well, yeah, the first the first Star Wars movie does not look good, <laughs> and it, it only looks worse now because he's added so much like CGI to it over the years. Well, Marty's almost done. Oh no, Marty's done studying. Oh shit! Nice. Bless. Huge. How'd that show? Yeah. You absorbed it all. It's all in there. That neuroplasticity. Soak it all in. You know, you're gonna ace all of your all of your tests. Everything, hundred percent. No, he finished studying because he's gonna go watch the MCU now. Oh yes. Yeah, studying sidelined. You could watch all the three Marvel shows in a day. Yeah. It'd be pretty intense, but like you could do it. Yeah. I would recommend watching Loki above the other two, but that's just. That's just me. Unless you want to watch, like, Beefcakes punch each other it's and then s- watch, like, Falcon and Winter Soldier. 16 out of 20 is a what? If you want to watch Beefcakes, like, overcome racism and punch each other, watch watch Falcon yeah. and Winter Soldier. 16 out of 20 seems doable. Yeah, 16 out of 20. What percentage is that? 80, I think. It's an 80? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's doable. I believe. I believe. Or is it, like... I have to leave in an hour. What? Yeah, you have to leave. Yeah. What what format is the exam? I guess there is there like a written essay part, or is it like twenty questions, or like what what, what how are these what? how are these twenty marks being uh, distributed? 
are you Googling over there? The run times of the shows. Uh. It's a math exam. Okay, so it's just going to be fucking math oh, questions. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was going to say, I was pretty sure it was a math exam. One, just tell me the whole run time. <laughs> Which one are you looking up? Uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Oh. Uh, so not to tell you the whole run time? No, That's WandaVision did. Five hours and 50 minutes. What website is that? Just go to that website. Or is it just like an it's article? It's just collider, yeah. It's just oh. an article. That's why then, yeah. Just no one wrote a big enough article about how long it was. Uh, what? No one cared. This, this, is, this is the evidence that no one cared about Falcon and the Winter Soldier. No one even wrote an article about the total time or the run time. What about Loki? <laughs> I can't imagine there's one five episodes in. There's only one episode left. Yeah, no, it's the same where it's just the so average yeah. episodes. Lame. No, Tyler, yeah, Tyler has uh, has plans tonight. Yes. Tyler is busy tonight. Yes. So, yeah, we... I'm Justin tonight. So yeah. yeah. Justin yeah. could always, like, stream something by himself if he wants. He could, yeah. But, yeah, we... I have no qualms with that. We just wanted to, to do this before he left. Yeah, I figured this would be interesting. This would be a fun to do. I had fun. Yeah. I thought this was cool. Yeah. I mean, we would have done this exact thing, just not on stream. Yeah. Because, yeah, we literally just watched the Loki episode and then, like, sat down here. Well, smoked a bowl and then yeah, sat down here. Yeah, speculate. I had to yell at Justin to not talk to me for seven minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, <Ooh. clears throat> Tyler's going to the market. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to go to the market. I'm going to go for a walk. going to maybe get some food. I need to get some food. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten yet today. I don't yeah, think me I can. neither. It's too late. You have to. I, it's too late. I might go get. I might go get food in an hour. Just eat like a little bit. I can't. Have like a bowl of cereal. I have no appetite. It's gone. Too stressed. If Justin streams something, Marty's gonna watch. Mm. Word up. I don't even know what I would stream. What if though? he streams like NHL or something? <laughs> what if What if you watch this boy like play NHL? He wa- he runs his fantasy team. <laughs> Or runs his, his not even ultimate team. team. Yeah, ultimate team. You can talk to Justin about being the, m- the most elite GM in the NHL. Not even GM, because I have to fucking. Uh, oh, what is it? Oh, so do like you hunt and stuff? Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, I could do I could do that, but that's. Uh, <laughs> just, be, a, be a GM? Yeah. What are you. Oh, no, you're doing be a pro. Yeah. Oh, yeah, be a pro. Yeah. The best player in the history of the NHL. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, what would you want to stream if you streamed alone? It was pretty cool streaming alone with, uh, uh, obviously it was, like, weird not having, like, you to, like, immediately, like, talk to and, like, reference and shit, but uh, it was cool having, like, Marty and Spooty to, like, play with. Like, that was pretty sick. I guess Overwatch is probably the only game I could really do. Scream at some Overwatch? Yeah, because otherwise, like... Everything else is like is like games that we're we're planning on like we're still like like currently planning on streaming. This is true. It's true. You could just you could just play Sekiro, just do like a first impressions or like first look or like some shit. Our, our, our teaser for Sekiro. Oh, I'm getting a call. I'm getting a call right now. Oh shit! From who? My father. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh no, I'm no, I'm not napping right now. What's going on? Oh no, I can do that though. Yeah. Okay, then I'll do it tomorrow. Okay, uh just you need to send me two hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, you don't have to do that right away because yours won't be ready till Monday or Tuesday. Okay, nice. That's good. Yeah. Use the amp anyway, so I have to cash a check. Oh, he's gone. Uh, Overwatch is just uh, uh, like a 6v6 shooter, basically, with uh, like objectives. Kind of like um, one of them is like Domination. If you've ever played uh, Call of Duty, there's like, there's like a point that both teams attack 
you try and capture the point and then hold it like king of the hill uh some of them some of them you have to like push a payload so there's like a an objective that like moves throughout the map and you try and like stop them or or push it forward i played i played like a fuckload of overwatch on uh xbox back in the day when it like shortly after it first came out and then when i got my computer like i i bought it but we haven't played like a ton of it Yeah, Overwatch. Overwatch is one I I might play. I'll, I'll think about it. I'll I'll eat some food and see how I feel. I imagine this is probably where we're gonna end end this stream though. Yeah, Sekiro. Sekiro. I'll probably want to wait till till Tyler's around. Especially because I I kind of cheated. I started. Does it look like paladins? It kind of looks like paladins, I think. Yeah. Um. I think that's a ripoff of. Well, not a ripoff, but like I think they. Yeah, I think they're like very similar games. But I'm not sure. I've never played paladins. It's just like what I've heard. You've played paladins. Um. I'll try and find some, some Paladins gameplay here and see if I... Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty similar to this. Overwatch is a little more... Right, it's made by Blizzard, so it's a little more uh, like AAA, more a little more polished. Uh, granted, this is also like old footage that I'm watching. Yes, yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess I could, I could stream uh, a quick Bloodborne teaser. Yeah, we have we have Bloodborne on the the PlayStation Four. Did you did you get it, or are you still are you still debating? Oh, word. Yeah, I, I, I think you'll enjoy it. I think you'll like it quite a bit. Unless it's uh, unless you just hate like the difficulty. You just hate the concept of the game, which a lot of people do. Marty, Marty's potentially buying Bloodborne in a couple minutes. Oh, he's going to buy Bloodborne? Today's the last oh. day of the sale, so he has, to, he has to decide. I'm back. Call taken. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Bloodborne, I love it. What's the, were you explaining Overwatch to him? Or what was that about earlier? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I explained a little bit of Overwatch, and then yeah. he asked me if it was similar to another oh, game. Oh, yeah, which, Paladins? Yeah. Yes, it's yeah. similar to Paladins. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I'd heard. Looked it up, it looked pretty similar. Yeah, like, yeah I would definitely recommend getting Bloodborne. We're probably going to start playing it like in the next few yeah, weeks. Yeah, sometime, so. yeah. So, <laughs> that'll be cool to talk about. We have to play it's Sekiro too. assuming we don't quit halfway through streaming it. Yeah, we could easily just, like play secure like two or three times and then be like oh this is too hard like we yeah, didn't even get I've a boss the stream or something like yeah, yeah i've i've bit. been like cheating and i so i've i'm i've played like a little more experienced yeah an hour or two of bloodborne or Sekiro today and it's like it's fucking hard it's maybe it'll be easier like the because like i'm just not like used to it so once like i've actually gotten the the gameplay mechanics down it'll be easy but currently it's fucking hard play the witcher before those <laughs> i could do that yeah we could yeah well we could do the witcher after uncharted yeah probably do the witcher like because we stream like multiple like so probably do the witcher two two times a week maybe three times and then yeah okay, yeah let's 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 set, we'll settle this right now we'll figure this out etch it in stone so marty knows what are we doing today's wednesday yeah friday uncharted four yeah saturday We'll probably just do one. Oh, so yeah, we have Lost Legacies as well. Yeah. But yeah, we'll probably just do Uncharted 4 until we're done Uncharted 4. And we then. Do Last of Us 2 before, though. Before Witcher? So Last of Us 2 before Witcher. Okay, yeah. Okay. Okay, so what? You want to do Uncharted 4 on Friday and on Saturday. And then Monday. Or, yeah, Monday do. The Last of Us? Monday, we have, no, no, Monday depends. do Sekiro. No. No. So we're gonna do Sekiro after The Witcher, probably. Oh, okay. So that's what that's a before before the oh, other that's what RPGs. You're about? Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's. I was thinking something okay. like that. Uncharted 4, Lost Legacy. So we'll do Lost Legacy at the same time we're doing Uncharted 4? No, probably just like after. We probably just burn through Uncharted okay, 4. Okay, so every time. Okay, just and then, all yeah. Uncharted 4 streams. Got it. Okay. And then, yeah, probably when... Yeah, once once we start The Witcher, then we probably need to like do multiple games like a week just because like... Okay, yeah. Otherwise, we'll be doing The Witcher for like... <laughs> Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, so yeah, we'll burn through all of those, yeah, and then once we three, hit Witcher, we'll start doing... Yeah, we'll do the Witcher two or three okay. times a week, and then just, like, yeah, another another yeah, shorter okay. game I mean, for... Marty's on the same page as us. Marty's, yeah, yeah, Marty's yeah exactly, okay. yeah. Marty's, Marty's thinking. But yeah, those three games will burn through, right? Uncharted Lost Legacy will take us three streams, yeah, like, at most, amazing, right? Yeah. Like, a week. And then yeah, Uncharted 4, we probably also only have, like, three or four streams left, because like, we did one, one, point, one. Yeah. one point something... <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know if you noticed that, Marty. I renamed our last Uncharted stream because it was, like, gameplay number two. I just renamed it to 1.5. Yeah, Changed the thumbnail to, like, a big false, like, logo over it and shit. Like, it was, yeah. yeah we, we didn't get a lot we done didn't get that very day. Far. Felt bad. We streamed for, like, like 40 minutes, like 50 minutes before we stopped entirely. <laughs> it's true. People came over. The game was on. I was, we started too late. Like, you and, you and Sean yeah. got here late. Like, it was, yeah. And it yeah, by a, that point, we'd been talking for like fucking 30 minutes. It's playable in six hours. Oh, training. wow. Okay, we might be, yeah, we could, yeah, we we could be able to probably just crush do it that in two, two streams. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if they're a little more than. Yeah, we're also just coming off of like every other Uncharted game, so I imagine like yeah, we're, we're fine fresh. We've, yeah. got a, we've got the skills. Exactly. It's quick and easy. Like, I told my dad that we were streaming with like no game, and he was like, So what are you doing? Just like talking? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Yeah, and he's like, on stream and i'm like yeah he's like, well, you're in the same room together i'm like yeah no we're talking to each other in real life yeah there's just cameras pointing yeah. at it yeah <laughs> i'm not like i'm not talking to you like with headphones like, yeah, wait, and shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah he was like, confused and he was like why wow, like people watch that and i was like yeah like a couple <laughs> it is it is strange marty said it was a sick format it is strange that like anyone watches it but like yo we're fucking interesting as shit we got good theories yeah the, yeah, the Moreland one, genius. I, genius. You, you didn't see when, that one anyway. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I've, no one's going to talk about Moreland. It is like a podcast. Marty knows. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's basically like a podcast. I like, can't tell him, like, my boomer father what a podcast is, though. It's, I don't have all day. He might know who Joe Rogan is. It's like a it's like a talk show. It's like a radio show, but on the internet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, literally. <laughs> it's just a radio show where you can see the person's face. Yeah, you did. You did radio, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was in the radio program. Better or worse than the mics you had there? Pretty similar. Nice. Word. Yeah. Did you have a pop filter? Like, like a some, circle one or like a soft Some filter? of them like had like okay. circle ones, but not all of them. I think the ones actually in in the like actual like on-air studio did, but in any of the like recording studios, like they didn't. Interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of talk about not popping your peas too much yeah yeah because and then i i remember i don't remember someone like brought it up and they were like why aren't there like why are we like learning about this why are we wasting time like in school learning about this and the teachers were like so like you don't like pop, pop the mic yeah and he was like literally everywhere in the world has pop filters f- besides like this shitty college <laughs> he's like he's like why aren't there there just should be pop filters on every mic and he's like well yeah like once you get into the industry like yeah there's gonna be it's like also, pop yeah, filters it's good to have, everywhere like, the basic knowledge of why you need a pop but filter, yeah he though. was like yeah. if you if you do happen to like get called in so like if you go go to a job and they don't have a pop filter and you Gotta your speak. day one yeah. you yeah you ruin you ruin the show because you're you're fucking it up all over the place. Breathing not, all over the... Yeah, you're, you're not going to get a day two. <laughs> like, Damn. That yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. But also, like, yeah, well, why weren't there pop filters in... It's a fucking college. Yeah, it's a college. Like, yeah, to be there, yeah. paying a lot of money to be there, and you don't have pop filters on all your mics? People are bringing their own pop filters in and putting them on mics? We're like, unemployed. I have pop filters for both of our mics. Yeah, like... Both of them are mine. <laughs> <laughs> I could double pop filter and you could have none. Yeah, and then I'd have to I'd have to be really careful with my peas. Yeah. Word. Is that where we're gonna end it? Is that where we're calling it for today? Seems it seems like a good place to end it. We we'll find go. a good freeze frame of Captain America and then we can oh, end yeah. it. There you we know, go. Oh yeah. Oh nice, <laughs> beautiful. What a good outfit. Oh, look how intense yeah, Scarlett that, Johansson that, looks that, there. That's the thumbnail, I'll change it. <laughs> Alright, well yeah, thanks thanks for hanging out with us, Marty. Thanks for <laughs> watching whatever this was. 
We'll probably yeah. do more of these in the future. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I imagine we'll, we'll probably do more. I don't know when. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you know. I'm going to go eat, see how I how I feel. I don't know if these will exist on a weekly or probably bi-weekly or whatever like basis. Probably not, but we'll see how it goes. I'm thinking like like monthly. Do one of these like a month or maybe two a month or something. It also depends on like what, yeah, what we yeah. have to talk about. Yeah, yeah, if there's like a shitload of things happening that we want to talk about, mm-hmm. yeah, we can we can do more. Ideally, this isn't like a Marvel exclusive like thing, but there's just a lot of we're yeah, we big do Marvel have, fans. Yeah, we do have other pop culture out, so yeah. uh, interests, but yeah. Until well, then. We'll see. Later. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you know if I do stream. It'll probably just be Overwatch if I end up streaming anything. Till then, goodbye.